access granted. Hey, happy Friday. How you doing, folks? Sorry to keep you waiting. Professional streamer coming through. I know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? Oh, my God. Uh, but yes, Scotty, Jesh, Atheline, how you doing? Atheline, how are you feeling today? I hope you're better than you were yesterday. I hope so. Is there anything I could do? Um, You know, aside from that, getting that OnlyFans up and running. Sween! How you doing, Sween? Uh, and Scotty, to answer your question, um, no, I did. The only thing of those I uh, did is restart the PC. Um, we're on, wing gonna prayer, sir. Wing gonna prayer. That's what, <laughs> that's what we got. Anyway, th thank you for your patience, guys. Here we are. I've just, God, I've got to sort things out. Uh, <laughs> let me. I've just got to send one real quick message in Discord. Um, uh, uh but yeah, how is everyone's Friday? Um, I hope you're all, all good. Who dat? Who dat? I see there. Is that? I can't even. See, I can only see part of the Twitch chat there, but I can see from the emotes, the emojis. That is Red Mage right there, isn't it? It is. Of course, it is. Hey, don't sir. I hope you're well, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Uh, I've got a few things to mention. I've just got to get this bloody message sent. Um, uh... Um... Oh my god, this is pathetic. What kind of streamer am I? Um, is, is, I promise it is important, or I wouldn't. You can, you know, you could, you can have an extra two minutes of um, of of nothing, or you can have an extra two minutes of my stupid face, just looking like a gormless idiot. But <laughs> well, it's not, <laughs> not much of anything, is it? Anyway, um. Uh, boom, there we go. Right, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, how's it going, folks? Um, was that, uh, yeah, of course, you're doing Thursdays, huh? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was stream number two. It's the, uh, it's the, um, all important second album, isn't it, Swing? You know, for Smash Hit as your debut, it's hard to follow up. Pearl Jam never ma managed it, but you know that's just because they came out, came out strong out of gate. Uh, <laughs> uh, but let me tell you this: what's going on here? What's going on here? 
What is it, what's it even going on here? <laughs> Four rides, Swain. Oh my God. Were any of those uh, newbies who just stumbled across you? Or is it all like the community trying to support you? They'll do that. Uh, let me tell you this. Uh, Red Mage there. You know him. You love him. He is over 9,000. But, however amazing that may be, we need to also understand that um, EBC 2021 there, Scotty, is also over 9,000. Flexing away. But aside from that, we also need to recognize and understand that Atheline, lovely Atheline, who uh, clearly doesn't require any uh, points to, um, you know, give Cage an extra life when we start Lone Wolf. She's like, you know, I'll just let, let him die. <laughs> or any dice rolls or anything. Uh, is um, the fact that she is without a doubt Af, lovely Atheline. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling that good, Belle. No, more, more than that, Red Mage. Atheline is over. 27,000. There's a, there's a three there, Red Mage. God damn it, Af. That's, that's larger than me. And uh, <laughs> Red Mage is like, I, I think you need a little bit of uh, liquid on that throat there. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my God, you guys. Um, That's not any of that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Gav, eh? Hey? <laughs> I might after that, might not. I might do. How you doing, Gav? Are you alright, sir? Uh, <laughs> quite loud. Uh, okay, but there we go. Some strong flexage. Let me... um, Kicking off the stream. Here we go. So let me find Joel. Red Mage. Oh, my. Uh, 24th flex. Just overtaken Coptimus Crime. If you can believe such a thing. And he's uh, kind of positioned himself in... In um strong fifth position there. Oh god. Scotty. Wow, okay, Scotty, twenty-third flex, just overtaken the gaming Avengers. Oh my god. Equal to Copsonus Crime, one behind Red Mage. He's coming for you, Red Mage. What do you do about it? I don't know. I have to wait and see. Uh, <laughs> he was stacking nice channel points. Uh, there we go. Ben's like, what? Ben's just dropped two positions. Atheline. Oh, my God. Like, you're all up there. With three flexers. That's Af's 24th flex. Now, I, could, I should possibly have done these in the order they appeared. But, uh... And actually, yes, I should. Af got... Af, you... Equal to Red Mage, and technically Red Mage. Af got in there before you, so let me shuffle this around. You've got the equal amounts, but she, in the terms of leaderboard, she beat you by two seconds. Okay, Af, you're fifth. Red Mage, you're uh, sixth with equal number of flexors. Coptimus Crime is seventh. Scotty is eighth with 23. Ben, representing the game Avengers, has just been knocked down three positions. You've all just overtaken him. So, yeah, you'll have to, um, you'll have to just deal with that, won't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he is. Red Mage, he's, he's always watching out for me. He's, um, he's, uh, he's superb, Red Mage. I'll do it right. Anyway, let me, uh, tick all these off. Here you go. One, two, three, one, and one. There we go. Let me finish this hydration. Uh, <laughs> just talk permanently in that voice, uh, Scotty. My God, how long would the stream last, Steve? <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to tell Cop, don't worry. We'll see if he notices. Um, right, yeah, thank you for being here, folks. <laughs> A couple of things to think uh, talk about. That wasn't uh, that wasn't one of them. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot going on. Uh, Let's get rid of that. Don't need that. Get rid of Discord. That's not useful at the moment. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, 
But yeah, Af, I don't know if you're going to save some of your points to uh, help Cage out, but also just let him die, I guess. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, the way to do it. Um, okay, yeah, what did I need to mention? What did I want to mention? Oh yeah, stuff coming up. It's a busy weekend, isn't it? Okay, so Legion Cage is doing a new stream. Has he even promoted it? I don't know if he's even promoted it yet. I don't know. Uh... I don't know, so I don't know too many details about it. He's doing his game show quiz tomorrow night. I, I probably won't be there. It'll be too late for me. But if you're around, keep an eye out for Legion Cage. new Brand new stream project. Some kind of game show. Qu quiz show, game show thing. Check it out. Original. He's, uh, you know, he's putting out original stuff. Um, that's more by Thursday. Excellent. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but, you know, just a flex all over the place. So just do that instead. Uh, but, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Uh, Sunday, uh, are we go ahead, uh, still, um, Scotty, this is, um, this Sunday is for, that is the question, Scotty's channel, a bit earlier in the day, uh, that is the question, a talk show, uh, where we discuss stuff, um, Inquisitor Oda, hello there, welcome in, uh, Inquisitor Oda, I assume you're a fan of Dragon Age Inquisition, I will just, uh, give you a little heads up, uh, we've not been we've not started the, been on the stream very long. I do do a bit of a chunky uh, just chatting, catching up with everyone, and talking about random stuff before we get into the game. So if you are you know you wanting to see some of that gameplay specifically, we will definitely be getting to it. Uh, we're a decent way into Inquisition, but we've got a lot to go still. Let me pause that. Um, but uh, we might be I might be jibber jabbering for a little bit. So heads up if you know if you need that that. Uh, that Dragon Age Inquisition fix in your veins right at this moment. Hopefully there's somebody else streaming it. Uh, but if you want to hang out and listen to a weirdo, jibber jabber to some other weirdos for a bit, you can do that as well. Uh, do whatever you like. But <laughs> uh, I do do a long stream. We just started. I'm going to be going for like another six hours. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of hours of Dragon Age Inquisition coming up. Uh, okay, cool. Um, excellent. Oda, well perfect perfect you hang out for a minute buddy we're just um sorting stuff out but yeah welcome in um um yeah you you do, i know you do i know you do screen i know a lot of you do yes yeah, so keep an eye out for that on sunday anything happening monday i don't know maybe th maybe there's a thing happening monday and i've missed it um <laughs> God, i can't can't keep up anymore folks um on tuesday though Scotty is uh doing uh on obviously on his channel um the um one year anniversary of the devil's gift which i uh is the first official audio drama from uh, enigma blockbuster cinema uh he's doing i guess a, a retrospective uh talk i don't know if he's playing the audio drama as well that is one that i appeared in uh one of the two i've uh, appeared in with Scotty um before Scotty for his uh for the cinema um i because of the lateness of the day i will not unfortunately be able to be on stream uh, i believe the other stars of that uh audio drama ingle doom and witch whitney are going to be on stream with scotty uh but i will i, I will be in chat to you know get involved in the conversation and to take questions as needed and all the rest of that um so watch out for that i swear there's something else happening on monday but i don't know what it is uh <laughs> look in the conflux it should be in the conflux somewhere it should be. Check special events. Check self promo. And scroll up a bit. Um, yes. So there you go. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, <laughs> um, Mr. Wrong's got is he's got a thing coming up. Is thirtieth uh, birthday celebration? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we. Oh no, is it? Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next audio drama from uh, the, the blockbuster cinema is uh, that's not that's not until uh, the end of October. Mannequin. Keep an eye out for that. Um, mention that when we get closer. Uh, I swear there's something happening Monday. I don't know. Doesn't even matter. Um, but yes, um, Mr. Wrong. He's got his thirtieth birthday. Is it two year streaming anniversary coming up? I don't know. Keep an eye out for that. Mr. Wrong. He's great. Um, what a, what a little whippersnapper he is. He's like um. I'm turning 30. Oh, I remember those days. <laughs> Metapod. How you doing? Um, uh, 
Oh. Expecting Norwegian. Well, I can't. <laughs> well, Jesh. Jesh is Norwegian. Oda. So we have a viewer, a subscriber, and a flexer who is Norwegian. So, I mean, <laughs> I can't help with that personally. Uh, but there is, you know, there's a bit of a Norwegian vibe here. <laughs> um, not from me specifically. But it's, there's no, it's not like we're running on 0% Norwegian. Um, interesting. Nor it got recommended as a Norwegian channel. Definitely not. 100% English. Like, more English than most American channels. Because, obviously, I'm a old-school Englishman. Not or whatever that means. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> not a colonizer. Um, oh, he took it down. He's, he's, he's shuffling things around, is he? Scotty. Okay, we'll look out for that. Um... But yeah, uh, I guess technically, uh, mm, I guess obviously Norway's closer to me on the western side of things, but maybe on the southern edge, Sweden drop down further south. Hang on, let me answer this. Let me answer this question. A very important question. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull up a map of Europe quickly. That will do if I can actually see a decent resolution image. Um, it loads up. Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. Hmm. You know what? It might be about the same. The very southern tippity, you know, the very southern tip of uh, both Norway and Sweden might be roughly the same distance from where I'm located. Um... Obviously, Norway's further, closer to the west, but it's further north. Sweden's further to the east, but it's closer to the south. So, this is just looking at a bird's eye view here. I reckon they're roughly the same. I don't know. I'm not going to measure. I'm not going to go measure it right now. But <laughs> I'll, I'll do it later. But anyway. Um, but anyway, yes. I hope you're well. You're sick, Mel. Wait, it's that dream you're drinking. If you're going to drink dreams, Mel, you're going to get ill. Um, yes, it's the equidistant, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh dear, Jesh, there you go, I didn't realise that. So yes, there, there you go, Oda, there's Jeshnaf, he is our resident Norwegian. Um, um, yeah, I'm just looking at the map, I don't know, it's like, you know, it's give or take. Like, if I was going, if I was going in a boat, or flying, I'd just be like, you know. Not not throwing a stone over there. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I do, Matt. So yeah, Matt tried some uh, Coke, new Coca Cola yesterday that was uh, called Dream Flavor, and I'm just like, I understand his experiment. I wanted to find out. He said he wasn't that great, and I'm like, you know, come on, Coca Cola company, don't you know, don't don't piss on me and tell me it's raining. It's Dream Flavor. It tastes like your dreams. Yeah, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying to you, don't you, Mr. Coca-Cola? That's what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope, uh, I do, yeah, we do hope you feel better soon, Mel. Uh, <laughs> it's Weijin. <laughs> um, God, I'm terrible with languages. I love the idea of uh, being able to speak multiple languages, but I, I really struggled with it. I'm not, good. I think it's more just like academically. Or maybe there's an actual thing. Some people pick up languages much easier, but. Yeah, exactly. That's true. It's like, um, it's like, uh, f fingers and thumbs, isn't it? So they say. Uh, but that's not true, because you don't call a thumb a finger, do you? So it's like thumbs and digits, I don't know. What you <laughs> um, but, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's like all, you know, not all dreams are nightmares, but all nightmares are technically a dream. Why is there not? There's not a. There's not a word for a good dream, is there? You have a dream, which is all encompassing, and then you have a nightmare, and then a good dream. You just call it. Oh, I had a good dream. I had a nice dream. Why does it have a word? I don't know. Uh, it tastes like smarty candies, but not in a good. Oh yeah, like as in like nasty, crappy, artificial sweetener, refined sugar candy that just. It's like cheap and non-good. 
that sounds terrible that sounds terrible stream but yeah you've got to experiment with these things haven't you so i'm sorry that made you ill now um never mind but yes um what did i so yeah sorry i'm a little bit late folks we'll make it up to you i always do it's um it feels like it's been a long week not in a bad way um but yeah a couple of things to mention there's a couple, a couple of news articles i've seen uh twitch god damn it twitch uh we're always talking about twitch um oh actually before we get into twitch i should uh thank you to um obviously chris uh for dropping that follow yesterday um we are now sat from what i could tell seemingly we have a a very evil number of followers at the minute so don't let anybody be superstitious or let that put you off um but you know we might have forces uh beyond our ken looking down on the stream at the minute being like hmm. um just be aware of that um uh, nitro pepsi what the bloody hell is that swing made a crazy sound what but you opened it and it makes a sound have they like it's got more pressured, pressurized gas in it or something. I don't know. What's that about anyway. If it's nitro flavor, I can't. I feel like I want it to be spicy. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Af, maybe, maybe. Let's let's hope not. But you never know, dear. But anyway, Twitch news. Uh, I saw this. Um, yeah, don't. Ask. <laughs> Someone will uh, follow or unfollow uh, soon enough. Uh, Af, it's not going to sit there for too long. I don't think um yes uh so twitch unveiled a new feature like yesterday i don't know um called elevated chat now what is elevated chat uh i don't think we uh <laughs> oh there we go we're back down to but that's it's not gonna save us when we get to more for you <laughs> for us <laughs> but it doesn't matter it's fine i don't have to deal with it unfollow <laughs> yes anyway twitch elevated chat um i don't think i think it's only for, like with all of the twitch's features it's um they kind of introduce you know then it's not to everyone they go oh we'll give it to these people first or we'll give it to these people or that oh you know i don't think we have it at the moment and i'm kind of glad um yeah it's matter it's insane have you seen it um uh hey slick mick how you doing bro uh yeah so let me uh open this article here we go um so uh but here we go yeah i want to look at that so um what it does is you as a viewer pay money like real real world money to basically have one of your messages like pinned to the chat for a period of time kind of weird right so we could be like you know so we could be like yo uh you know assuming i was a viewer i could be this type something like this uh i could be like you know i could type something like that um and you know it doesn't just like oh you guys type over it and then it's got this disappeared it's way up in the chat it just um thankfully it's not true mail <laughs> uh and then you know it just sit, uh, presumably just sits at the top of the the chat and it stays there highlighted like hey everybody look at this message you can't miss this message um yeah apparently it's uh something they've kind of ripped from uh youtube okay cool you know a, a weird feature uh, um we've kind of have like the channel points like a highlighted message but i guess that doesn't pin it it doesn't stay there it'd be interesting if they just added it as a channel point feature um okay so you're like thinking oh it costs money uh how much money does it cost it costs five dollars oh five dollars that's a lot of money it is five dollars that's like a sub does that mean your message like a sub gets like pinned for a whole month like a, like a sub no no it gets it gets how long it gets pinned for 30 seconds it's more expensive than a monthly sub and it lasts like how you know how many Let's find this out. Let's find this out. Um, um, right. Let's let me pull out my calculator. Uh, or maybe maybe Google will just answer it. Uh, how many seconds in a month? There we go. I guess it depends on the month, doesn't it? Honestly, let's take the longest month. 
Let's take a 31 day month. Okay, we'll just round it off with, you know. Um, okay, there we go. It's 2.6 million seconds in a month. So let me pull out my calculator. Um, okay, so we're going to do... Uh, um, Uh, two six seven eight four zero zero divided by uh thirty uh uh so for you know so for four, that's that's uh yeah thirty one days yes so that's um or even calculation I'm doing it <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, so that's how many seconds in a month, and if we've done it before that, because yeah, so how, see how many slots, so how many pinned messages you could have is eighty nine thousand two hundred eighty. Okay, um, so we times that by five, the number of dollars. Right. Okay. So there we go. So if you want a pinned message for a whole month, it's going to cost you. Four hundred and forty-six thousand dollars, nearly half a million dollars, if you want to have your message pinned on the channel in chat. Yeah, half a million dollars for one message on one channel for one month. Um, obviously that's not really what's intended, but my point there was to highlight the difference of the value. Uh, the equivalent value between, uh, you know, a sub and pinning your, highlighting your message. Yeah, you could buy two houses instead. Uh, anyway, Meta, <laughs> get out your doctor appointment. I hope it. They uh, we will have fun. I hope you you feel better soon, buddy, and the doctor can offer some kind of relief. Um, now it does get um cheaper, seemingly, uh, as you uh get reduced cost um oh no it gets more expensive oh wow it doesn't <laughs> if you get 30 second chunks it's actually cheaper than getting uh a whole a whole lot more so for a hundred dollars a hundred dollars you could have your message pinned for two two and a half minutes Now, of course, um, <laughs> the experiment will last for four weeks, after which Twitch will look like <laughs> will like look at data from the test to, to decide whether they give the feature a wider rollout. Yeet that into the ground, please. Um, interesting. Apparently, the equivalent on YouTube is $100 for the same feature for an hour. Now, of course, Twitch are going to, you know, reduce their own value. They're like, oh, look what YouTube are doing. No, let's do the same thing, but make it, uh, you know, 50 times more expensive. Um, now, they say, oh, yes, but it's good because apparently the revenue cut on that highlighted message, that elevated chat, that's what they call it. It's its official name. is a 70-30 to you know so if you pay a hundred dollars sky to you know highlight your message for two and a half minutes i get 70 of those dollars and the other 30 goes to twitch what are they even thinking over there are they actually insane i, I do wonder there's like some extreme disconnect like the people making these decisions don't understand the platform don't stream don't know anything about it they just don't get it they just literally don't get it or I'm even going so far to feel that there are powers that be that are somehow behind pulling strings and they actually actively want the platform to fail and implode. Um, because I see no other explanation. Like, only somebody who is trying to either A, destroy the platform or is a complete out-of-the-loop crazy person who doesn't know anything has made that decision that this elevated chat is a good idea. Those prices for what you're getting should be reduced by 
a thousand fold at least then it might then it might be a cool feature hey here's one cent is nib which you get 70 percent of uh, and i get to have my message highlighted for 30 seconds one cent uh, you know that might be reasonable you know dollar can go a long way if you eke it out a cent at a time right a hundred dollars for two and a half minutes there's there's something not going on they're missing something up here there's all this some nefarious weirdness going on in the background but there's not intelligent people who are trying to make the platform succeed you know, someone must have come up with this original idea and they should have been fired on the spot when they brought it to their boss. Um, that's, the thing, that's the thing, though, Scott. If they might get more use out of a feature like this if they massively reduced the price. Having it at that starting price point, nobody's going to use it. Literally nobody will use it. Unless the only time I can see it be using is someone who is a, a like a, a con consistent um regular viewer of like one of the big streamers you know the guys who have like between two and twenty thousand viewers at any given time and they go tits uh you know they pay five dollars to you know everyone to see their silly message for 30 seconds and they go hee hee that was worth it yay uh <laughs> That's such a tiny minority of use of uh, the user base of the platform that it might as well not exist. Uh, what are they? What are they even thinking? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But like you know, oh, you know, if we could set up like you know some kind of you know amateur, officially sanctioned mixed martial arts fight, and any of their executives want to fight me. Just to prove a point, I'm, I don't mind doing that. I'm not in the best shape. But, uh, I, you know, I've, I'm righteous enough that I feel I could... Uh, give him a little slap. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. I just thought, I thought I'd tell you that utter, utter garbage bullshit invention. Waste of space, waste of thought, waste of time, waste of existence. That, um, you know, the Twitch platform seemingly thinks it is, is acceptable and okay to perpetrate on you know it's like abuse essentially i don't know i don't get it um ah there you go scotty there you go yeah it's one of amaranth's viewers is like ah, 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 i fancy you five dollars for 30 seconds she's not even she's not gonna see it all the other bros in the chat will see it uh maybe but it doesn't it just doesn't make sense for the the 99.99999 percent of channels on twitch that that is the thing um i don't know but i, I do feel there's like a concert not a concerted effort it, it's kind of in twitch's best interest if they could take the entire viewership of um of twitch and funnel it onto like less than one percent of all the active channels that would benefit them you know twitch would rather have uh you know like a hundred streamers they support who have each got like you know hundreds of thousands of viewers at any one time than what it currently is that that would be in their best interests so i wonder if this kind of stuff is kind of not that this particular elevated chat would assist with that but that's what it's geared towards isn't it um but i don't get it um maybe after maybe that's the idea there'll be like one tiny percent of like weirdos out there who are like oh, i'm in love with amaranth no really i'm not just some weirdo in my basement i really i'm in love with her i've got to tell her <laughs> uh, i don't know it's um yeah no it's weird because we we're like we I'm, i feel like i'm sensible I feel like you're all sensible, but not everybody's sensible. Such an underrated quality in today's society. Hey, you know, people are like, "Oh, I, I, you know, I'm beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm, you know, I'm smart, I'm, 
you know, I'm outgoing. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a freedom fighter. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a justice warrior, or you know, whatever else. Are you, are you sensible? Oh no, that's boring. No, that should be the best. That should be the thing that you are. Uh, thank you, thank you, Slim. <laughs> I like to think so. What do you think? Huh? Uh, <laughs> um, are you sensible? Yeah, I'm sensible. I try to be. That should be the first thing you should be aiming for. That should be the the greatest of qualities. Um, insensible. Uh, that, is that the opposite? I don't know. I guess you know what I'm saying, Sky. Um, but anyway, that I just wanted to mention that it's um, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know, unsensible. I don't know. I mean, to me personally, I it, I would. Say, what's the opposite of sens being a sensibility? Idiocy. I don't know. You tell me. Um. Maybe maybe Google knows. Let's have a look. Um, what's <laughs> the opposite of green? No, that's <laughs> oh, it's come up with random colours. Uh, opposite of sensible. Irrational, unreasonable, foolish, illogical that they're you know yeah irrational unreasonable foolish yeah illogical not not things you want to be i feel i feel the your most important quality is to be sensible based on that definition um oh what do they do yeah they just yeah, well, there you go they have elevator chat scotty they're like, don't don't you want to tell Amranth that you love her? <laughs> she won't even see it. Anyway, it's elevated in the chat. It doesn't mean it's the streamer's going to look at it. But anyway, let's put that sordid nonsense to one side. I'm not I'm not feeling any of that. Um, second news article. Uh, so apparently there is uh, a a uh, hinted at a new Silent Hill game being made potentially even being released this year apparently or at least being announced officially um yeah no screw this over your ad blocker no uh <laughs> so um Most of you know that I'm a massive Silent Hill fan. And we're still going to be covering the whole series on this channel at some point in the future. When, you know, it... Excuse me, my God. If and when the producers vote for it. If not, then we, you know, we won't. But... <laughs> so, um... Okay, this uh this article's far more involved. Uh so there was um some like rating system in Korea. It like appeared out of nowhere. Um Let's have a look at this one. Oh my god, that article's from like five like five months ago. <laughs> um Yeah, it's not too much known about it basically. But they're supposed to... What it's going to be like, how it's going to... No, apparently, well, they're gonna, they own the IP, don't they, Red Mage? But they've got no interest in making the game. They'll just get someone else to make it. Um, you know, no, they're probably just... Uh, they're probably just renting it renting out, you know. It's like, oh, yeah, you guys make the game. Get some free money without any effort. Um, I th oh, where's, the, where's the one article I saw? I was on my phone. I think that's where I saw it. Interesting, it pops out that stuff. Yeah, let me just read it on my phone. Here we go. Which will be announced soon. Right, yeah, this is from like three days ago. 
Yeah, the Korean Age Commission has rated the unannounced game Silent Hill the short message subtitle. Um, yeah, a fully fledged video game, not a mobile game or another arcade machine. Pachinko, jog on. Um, Yeah, something to do with uh, SMS messages on on your phone being like tied into the maybe the gameplay of the game, hence the short message. Um, uh, the insider stated that because it was on the uh, the Korean uh, rating commission, it means you know they wouldn't be there if the game wasn't uh, ready for its official launch. Um, this guy predicted the game would be released in October. Um, apparently, but this is true, Konami is developing several Silent Hill games. Apparently. One of them has been developed by a Blue, Bloober team, a Polish studio. The other one has been uh, created by Annapurna Interactive, an indie game studio. Now, I don't know which one. I've read it there. I've read it somewhere else. Um, one of the, uh, well, the studio that made Layers of Fear and also The Medium, uh, which came out somewhat recently. Uh, whatever studio that was, that's apparently been rumoured that they are the ones involved. Uh, now, I have played layers of fear and it was an okay walking simulator game with a horror aesthetic but it was just a walking simulator um i haven't played the medium but i've heard what i've heard of seen of it it looks just kind of trash um in my opinion so you know i should reserve judgment but if it's those guys making the silent hill game i don't hold out the hopes it's necessarily good um yeah, Kojima and Del Toro is not my Silent Hills. <laughs> yeah, get that hashtag going, Red Mage. Um, yeah, um, it could have been so much. Um, it looks mid. I don't know. I think we've got streamer friends who have played it. Um, but I, I don't know if I've necessarily watched their playthroughs of it, but um, like I've watched reviews of the game, and they're just like, yeah, this is just some forgettable nonsense game no it's not a bad game but it's not a good game either so you know i know there's people out there who are like oh my god layers of fear is great and i think it's boring you know you if there's no game there if you just walk first person perspective walking from a to b and there's occasional jump scares and ooh, weird things happening it's horror then i'm like well you know this isn't a game this is just it's barely a video game at that point. It's you know, it's tech. It's a video game on a technicality. Um, and if people enjoy it, that's good. That's fine. I'm glad they enjoy it. Um, you know, but you know, some people enjoy you know, pop music. You know, not calling anybody out here. <laughs> some people, in, some people enjoy the lowest common denominator. And there's a reason it's the lowest common denominator because most people enjoy it, and that's fine. Um, you know, it's not a problem. Uh, it's just for me. I have what I feel are fairly exacting standards. I'm a video gamer. I, you know, I'm a gamer. I always have been since I was a little kid, like a little kid. Um, but most video games to me are not very good. You know, it's a case of, you know, there's enough out there that a lot of them are very good, but mo the majority of video games are not very good, in my opinion. Um, uh, Callisto Protocol. Never even heard of that. It looks like Dead Space. Well, Dead Space is uh, pretty good. Um, kind of. In, <laughs> in a lot of ways, it's pretty good. And in some ways, it's maybe not so good. But uh, that's, they're, not, they're on my list, to be fair. Um... And the original Death Space was actually the very first game I ever streamed. Um, but that's a different story altogether. Uh, that's a learning experience, to say the least. Um, but yeah, you know, my point of that is Silent Hill is not dead. 
But is it coming back, you know, is it coming back swinging or is it just going to be, you know, a zombified cash grab? We'll have to wait and see. This We can't, t we don't know until we, until, you know, just got to hang on and, and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know, guys know about that. You know, I'm a massive Silent Hill fan, but. That's right, we've still got the rest of the series to get through. We've played Silent Hill 1 on this channel. We've still got another seven to go. Um, yeah, exactly, Red And if that's its purpose, it's probably not going to be very good. You know, it's just um, that uh, setting is so rich uh, for exploration. If you are someone who is um, like darkness as a theme and, uh, you know, horror... It's a broad term, uh, but specifically like the occult, um, and exploring the idea of uh, other realities or dimensions. Then it's um, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect setting. Um, we we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, I think I've jibber jabbered long enough, folks. Um, uh, Inquisitor Oda, if they're still there, probably is like, yeah, come on, come on, Bray, let's get on. <laughs> It's got a Dragon Age, so we should do that. It's about time. Uh, and again, thank you all for being here. I do greatly appreciate it. But yes, um, let's go on Inquisition. We've uh, we finished looking around the Exalted Plains yesterday, and we've looked around most of Empire de Leon. Um, so we're going to head back there, wrap that up. We've also unlocked the another part of the Storm Coast that we previously didn't have access to, so we'll probably go back there as well. Um, and then we'll we'll take it from there. We'll get to get to another area. Um, okay, so let's get to it. Right, we might have uh, some uh, war table missions to uh, turn in. <laughs> oh, thank you. Disastrous. Thank you for the uh, the sub there. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. You need to do that. Thank you. But I got a little chocobo there. Uh, oh, okay. It's telling me on uh, actually on my chat down here that um, that uh, we do have access to e elevate a message in my chat. Please, nobody do it. There's no reason for you to do it. Um, nope. Let me get rid of that. But you've been here before, you know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Have you, uh, Disastrous, have you, uh, have you played, um, have you played, uh, Dragon Age uh, Inquisition or any of the Dragon Ages? You want to earn 50k channel points again? Okay. Cool. Well, f feel free. Uh, no. Okay. Well, that, there you go. Uh, that's fine. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for stopping in anyway and dropping that uh, sub. Appreciate it. Um, I won't try next. You probably are vaguely aware of the series. Have you played uh, Mass Effect at all? Because that's basically the very similar game. Not that I've played Mass Effect, but... Uh, Relati relatively. Okay. What do you get for that? A toy soldier. Okay, that's very useful. Um, 100 influence. Nice. And uh, elf snake of the Tsar. It's an elf snake. I don't know. Um, but that probably is uh, an improvement for uh, bull in his armor. Okay, what, what I got for that? That was the uh, that was the nug, the golden nug. Um, let's see, open up that there, golden opportunity. All right, let's, um, there you go. Okay, yeah, so it's just a Mass Effect, but a fantasy setting. So you've probably got a gist of the game. Um, Let us begin. Yeah, get on, get on here, Josie. Got an opportunity. Uh, work 
Yes, get to work, Cullen. Uh, is it everything else? Gather cloth. Uh, right, okay. I think we've done everything. Unless anything else unlocks. Uh, and the thing I probably need most at the moment is coin. So, I mean... I guess I'll... Um, some they're allowed to get some coin for us. Yeah, let's see what we have. Um, Jesh, really? Is it worse than it was yesterday, bud? What, uh, because you said that the past few days it has been getting a little bit better. But is it, is it worse? Right, okay, let me, um, let's see. Yeah, I, th I guess we should um, get back down here and uh, finish sorting all of this out. Well, that is there. I couldn't seem to get that before, but... Um... Is that on the... I don't know if that's underneath the keep there. Maybe it is. Okay, um... I'll go to this camp here and we'll just start heading south trying to get all these shards, I think. Do that first. Okay, so um, there may be. Oh, hang on, a second. We've got red lyrium to get around here still. Yes, we have. Okay, so we'll take um, we'll take Varric with us. He's so obviously quite particular about that. Um, I guess we'll take Bull for now. I want to check his armor anyway. Oh. Yeah, that's, sometimes, the, like, bad injuries, Jesh, they can, you, it's feeling better to you because the, the initial impact is like, you know, the swelling or whatever is subsiding. You're like, oh, my God, yeah, oh, my God, it hurts. Oh, it doesn't hurt as much as it did yesterday. Oh, yeah, it's getting better. But then after a couple of days when that initial kind of impact has kind of, like, almost, like, healed, then you start feeling the stuff inside that's actually like, oh, right, something actually might be wrong here. Right, that's what it sounds like. I, um... I, uh... Damn, it's tomorrow. So you got an x-ray tomorrow. Okay. Well, fingers crossed, buddy. It's better to know and get that, you know, sorted out than, um... Then it gets, uh... No, not Lana. Uh, ball. There we go. Um, then it becomes like an issue later. Okay, there we go. It's um, barely bell. Let's go for it. Oh. That's an increase. There we go. Cool. Give him that. Just, just yellow pants, though, haven't we, Bull? But never mind. Um, okay, so I'm going to be heading uh, towards the south here. Nothing to, nothing to report. Good. Maybe. Good. I'm glad there's nothing to report. Am I fast? So I assume they've um, repaired the bridge now. I just sent them on that little mission to go and do that. You know what? I feel like I got some um, new armor for us as well. Yeah, I was... I'm in an iron about that. It's technically more defense even though we're kind of uh sacrificing a few stats but i feel like overall that might be for the best yeah i, could, I guess we can stick those on solus not ideal but let's look around 
Right, clearly we've got to get in this little tower here. Which looks like we have to... Oh! Red Templars. Hello. Uh, complete miss. I'm not. I'm not a fan of the uh, sword. I'll be honest. I'm not a uh, sad. I chose the enchanter, the knight enchanter, because some of the other abilities look to be really rather excellent. You have to help us. They'll turn us into those things. Yeah, it will help you. Oh, requires a rogue. Okay, there we go. Break the locks, please. God. Even been turned into monster, who's been out in the freaking cold. This won't stop until they're dead. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Jesh. It's been, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. It's been weird like that recently. Let me uh, fix it. Past few days, it's been a bit like that. Oh yeah, thank you, bro. I need to get into the habit of looking at it. Um, okay, just load it up to remove the NPC models from the page. Okay, I see. I see. There we go. We've got his specialization now. Uh, years of experience with the Merchants Guild and the publishing world. Varric has become an expert at handling deadly traps and convoluted devices. I'm not sure how Merchants Guild and publishing books converts to traps and devices but so be it here we are uh <laughs> right spike trap you set a trap that when an enemy approaches detonates and flings enemies into the air now the only problem with that is if they don't walk on it then it's you know guess we've got to get it um what have we got for the passive so uh Damage bonus to traps. Okay. Um, cooldown reduction. When an ally critical hits, you take advantage of the success faster and reduce your own cooldown time as well. Let's get that. That's amazing. Um, fallback plan. Place a thief's lantern to mark a fallback location before heading into battle. When the fight gets ugly, you leap back to safety. As healthy as you were when you placed your marker. That's like a f free heal, really, isn't it? Okay. You can fight longer before f leaping back and you pull your closest enemy back with you. Okay. Five seconds. Interesting. Um, tricks of the trade. You help the team make the most of its abilities, increasing the damage and duration of all status effects anyone in the party applies. Okay. I mean, <laughs> let's get that, yeah? Uh, <laughs> very nice, Varric. Um, what have we got on the other side here? Elemental mines throughout an assortment of different traps in front of you. Applying different elemental effects to enemies that come into range. Okay. Uh, and check out extra traps. Okay, well, if you just he's throwing around everywhere, that'd be cool. Um, and that's just a passive 5% crit chance, which doesn't sound like much, but obviously that's pretty amazing. Um, and what's his your hail of arrows? That's his special. Yeah, okay. Oh, this ability is active. Any archery ability you use is duplicated. Wow, okay. Kind of good, but also we can probably manage without it. Uh, I'm going to... I guess he could... Go for that. Let me... Um... Let me get the other passives first. Okay. I'm not going to be like, massively using Varric, so it's not the end of the world. Yo, Myth! How you doing, Myth? Myth, uh, I actually thought uh, of you last night. Um, is that... What's his emote? What is his emote? That's pretty cool. I like that. Moiselle. Moiselle the Fae. I like that. That's, that's some nice artwork. Um, yeah, Myth. Um, 
obviously, I saw, uh, obviously on uh, Discord, and I had a little gander at your channel briefly, uh, you say, yeah, ca call me Root. What is your myth? What, what, do you prefer to be called Root? Because I can get in the habit of referring to you as Root, if you'd like. Um, like, we've got, you know, you see Squidge. Not everyone knows who Squidge is. Like, who are you talking to? Is L.L. McRae. We just call her Squidge. EBC 2021. Scotty. Do you know what I mean? So, so whatever you prefer. Um, excellent. You would prefer that. Excellent. Cool. Yeah, Root. Now, I, I get called out about my pronunciation of the letter T. I don't always add it in. So if I call you Root, <laughs> don't be offended. But yeah, there we go. Um, you know, I, I just like to, you know, I'd like um, a friend called Ingle Doom, who, uh, when I first met him, his name is, you know, Ingle Doom. So I just called him Ingle for short. And then, he, you know, he's a pretty polite guy, but he's, and eventually he got to the point where, yo, it's, can you just call me Doom? Everyone calls me Doom, so just call me Doom. I was like, okay, cool. So, <laughs> root, ex, root. Yeah, uh, I'm just, <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, Root. Scotty's like, what? There you go. Everyone, everyone know, Myth Matrix. That's their streamer handle. But c please call them Root. R double O T. Like, you know, like what? It's the end of end of a plant in the ground. You know? <laughs> yeah, root. There you go, Sleep Mick. I I will say root, because uh I can't say water either, can I? Oh Scotty. Young Scotty. Yeah, uh, that's not me. <laughs> there we go. We got there. Excellent. And more, more nice emotes there. God, look at that. I like that. Oh, hey, Scarlet. Little hype emote. I, got, I do love emotes. Um, anyway. Cool. But anyway, now we've got that resolved route. How are you doing today? Are you well? I hope you're good. Um, hope you get no more surprise meetings uh, <laughs> thrown on you today. <laughs> Oi, Root, got a meeting going on. You know what? I'm trying to do work over here. Um, hey, Star, Star, how you doing? Happy Friday to you. What's going on? I'm just, here we go. I'm just fighting some red Templars. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to get out of the snow, honestly. You know, I like I like a snow zone or snow level, but I don't like being in it too long. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so is, I can have a, I can get, you know, nice, a nice like um, temperate or sunny landscape. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just chill here forever. This is fine. But um, snow, I'm like, says the guy who's gonna be getting playing some modern Skyrim soon. But uh, <laughs> you know, I guess there's exceptions. But M Pre de Leon, I've, I'm ready to leave, honestly. Um, but I don't think we've got too much more to explore. Uh, I'm not anti-T, uh, Scotty. It's, uh, it's the, t the letter T is strong. It's one of the strongest letters in the alphabet. So, yeah, it's one of the strongest letters. There you go. <laughs> so, the idea is uh, it doesn't need me to help it out. You know what I'm saying? It's fine on its own. That's how it is. I don't make the rules. You know, uh... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just coming back in on myself here. Yeah, that's no, doesn't serve anyone, does it? Okay, never mind. Let's go back this way. Um, exactly, exactly. Root. You don't, you know, I don't. No, no T's needed. T's fine. It's doing all right. gonna do what what do you say i'm gonna do a some a crystal something in your skull <laughs> see star i'll pity the fool that you know doesn't realize that the letter t can stand on its own 
Um, yeah, I'm sure that's probably included. F, but even even with the season mods in Skyrim, you know, you can go to the you know the southern uh, regions of Skyrim, and it's not really snowing all the time, is it? Hey, I like that they're. <laughs> I like that the uh, their slaves are just. We're fighting to the death. Their captors, and they're just like, sure. I'm just gonna. I'm just, I'm just digging this rock here. <laughs> um. Excellent. Well, there you go, Root. I appreciate that. You know, you understand. T T strong. I do like strong tea, but like actual the drink tea. If you, you know, if you make me tea, and it's not very strong, I'm gonna be like, can you? I've seen Bound for the Air drink. You know, he's he's posted. Oh, look at this cheesecake I'm eating, and this cup of tea. And I'm like, is that tea, bro? Because it looks like dirty dishwater. Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm not here to I'm not here to judge. Um, I like I like tea to be a. It's got to be at least reasonably strong. Um, because otherwise, what I once knew a girl who had her. T it's almost like a disrespect to the tea. Um, she was like, yeah, "I want tea," but she would firstly half the mug, half of the mug would be milk. You know the idea. If you put milk in tea, like I do, yeah, I'm civilized. A little bit. You don't. You need a little bit in the bottom. It's like no more than 10% of the volume of the mug. Any more than 10%. You'd like, you, I feel that's a bit too much milk. Um, she'd be like 50%. 50% milk. Yeah, that's you. what you're doing. Steph! Steph! 20 months? Oh my god, Steph. Calm yourself, Steph. How you doing? You are, my dear. It feels like it's been an age since we've spoken, Steph. I guess it probably has. Well, it, what's an age, even? But, um... But yeah, and then not only that, she would like put the tea bag in the mug for like maybe about a minute, maybe not even that, like thirty seconds. I'm like this. I'm like, you know, no, it's okay. I'm like, I said to her, okay, if you don't like tea, you don't have to pretend to like tea. You know what I mean? You haven't got to do whatever this, you know, whatever this nonsense is that you're claiming this tea, this desecration of tea. You know, you don't need to do that. But apparently that's the thing. People are allowed to, you know, they, they can have their tea however they want, even if they're not going to disrespect the essence of tea. I'm just letting people know, I don't disrespect tea. Tea's strong and doesn't need any help from me. Sorry, okay. <laughs> what am I even talking about now? I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that's fine. That's what we do. Anyway, Steph. Lovely Steph. How are you doing? Are you well? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Root. Yeah, totally. I, oh, my God. I'm getting yeeted here. Kind of. Uh, let me pop that place real quick. Um, what are these crazy kids doing here? I don't know. There we go. I think we're all right now. Okay, we got him. Cool. Um... But, you know, each their own. I'm not here to judge. Um, yeah, I'm doing very well, Steph. I'm doing very well. And are you doing all right? I guess you must be doing reasonably all right. Or you wouldn't, like, be here throwing, like, you know, a 20-month sub. Uh, bless you. Thank you, Steph. Uh, you know. And, you know. You probably... I'd like to I'd like to think you'd tell me if you weren't doing all right. You know what I mean? I know, you know, life is busy, isn't it? So it's like... On a day to day basis, you can't always like talk to everyone. Break the locks, please. Yeah, of course, Varric. Imagine if you come here without a, a rogue and you're just like, nah. You have to help us. They'll turn us into those things. They won't now. We killed them. Have you freed you're anyone? here to judge, are you, Root? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Squidge. Yo, Squidge, tell me how do you take your tea? Squidge is uh, another big advocate of tea, like me. She may even drink more tea than I do. Um, how how strong do you have your tea, Squidge? And how much milk should be used in your tea? And I assume you don't put sugar in your tea, Squidge, because you're civilised. But also, if you turn out to be a savage, 
we're still friends, okay? If it's actually Squidge, you would think, oh, Squidge is really, like, well-behaved. Lovely person. She's definitely not a savage. If it turns out you are, it's fine. We're still friends. I don't... It's okay. We're all different, aren't we? Um... I'm okay. <laughs> Squidge. I know, Squidge. Okay, guys, I'm... I feel very judgy now. Um... Squidge not only doesn't have strong tea she is also savage um it's fine it's fine i still love you squidge it's not <laughs> we're not you know we're not being i'm not an asshole mostly i don't know it depends who you talk to it does depend who you ask uh <laughs> it's fine squidge okay we've it's we're, no we're all, we're all different okay on the opposite i i cannot abide sweetness in tea um as an English breakfast tea. Maybe if it's like a different kind of tea. I don't know. Like, uh, you know, cold tea or I don't know. Whatever, whatever else. Iced tea. You know, whatever else. I don't know. Um, and I, I feel it needs to be reasonably strong. Like, I can leave the tea bag in there brewing for like 10 minutes. And it won't be too strong for me. I'll be like, that's fine. Um, I might be a bit annoyed because it might have got a bit too cold. Uh, that point, but the strength of it is 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 good. But yeah, <laughs> just like ten minutes. Yeah, no, seriously, I'll pour I'll pour the boiling water in the tea bag. What I usually do, Squidge, uh, when I eat my dinner in the evening, cook my dinner, eat my dinner. Uh, I'll get on when I start. Whether I'll do the washing up straight away, which I tried to. I don't like to hang around. I'd rather get it out of the way. Do the washing up. Uh, I put the kettle on to boil as I'm filling up the washing up bowl. Um, before I start doing the washing up, I will, t I will take, I will make my tea. I'll put the boiling water on the tea bag in the mug. I'll do the washing up. Then I'll come in here and set up whatever I'm doing on, uh, you know, bring my laptop back in here, set that up. Get, you know, if I'm getting on Final Fantasy XI or whatever I'm doing, I'll get on Twitch or get on Discord, set that up. Then I'll go back in the kitchen and get my tea and it will have been there at least 10 minutes. Maybe longer. Maybe 15 minutes. Squidge is like, you... Squidge is like, Isnip. How dare, young man. How dare you even imply that I am the savage, sir. Go back to school. Go to learn some manners. <laughs> um, One to two minutes. Okay, that's fine. You know what I really like, Squidge? Is actually having a in, tea in a teapot. Um... Which is not, like, practical. You know, a lot of people don't even own teapots nowadays because it's, like, not a thing. Um, and, it's, and it's not... I don't like it enough that it's worth doing. <laughs> but uh, I do I do quite like it. And you can just, you, can just, you know, because it keeps the water warm and you can just leave that tea bag in there for, like, half an hour. Half an hour brewed tea. Yeah, bring it on. It's <laughs> um, yeah, I'd have to be very careful if I ever made tea for Squidge. But, you know, it's what it is. Um, you're allergic to chamomile, Steph. What the hell? I don't even know that was a thing. And I'll be honest, I don't know... The last time I may have even had chamomile. I think I've had chamomile tea. Sea Star, you go for the teapot and respect you. My God. There we go. That's where, you, the, the, that's where the good tea is. Sea Star's house. Um... Uh, how does that work, Root? Is this one of these... Uh, do you mean one of these ones? I've I've heard of, um... Kettles that are like... I don't know how they work, but they're like almost insta-boil. You press a button, it somehow like instantly boils the water. And you're like, what? How... How is this a thing? But it's like super convenient, obviously. What, am, I, am I looking for this? There we go. Perfect. Note from Samson about spreading red lyrium. Samson is scum. We met him in the previous game. Um, lavender root. My God. Oh my God! Yeah, Scotty. 
He said, I'll just make, well, I'll just microwave mine. Get, get, get all that, get all that radiation in there. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I mean, you know, I love you in spite of, Scotty, not because of. <laughs> I'm just wandering around like a headless idiot at the minute. There we go. So I'm trying to, um, I guess we can, um, Let's head through here. I don't think I came through this way, door. No. Um, yeah, that's that's like savagery there. That's true savagery there, Scotty. Um, uh, and it keeps it at that temperature for a little while. Oh, uh, okay. You know what, Root? They that sounds real nice. I could um, I could go for one of those. Crazy to think that the war can reach even up here. Yeah, yeah, bull. It is a little bit crazy, isn't it, buddy? It's war for you, though. It doesn't knows no bounds. It just gets around everywhere. Um. Yeah, yeah. I do. The, I do the same squidge. Like our kettle. I've got this thing. I hate the idea of squidge. Maybe you're the same. Um. I don't know if anyone else can relate to this. Um. It doesn't have to be about tea related, does it? Just if you're an electric kettle. Uh. Um. I hate the concept. Maybe squidge that. You may boil the kettle, and it doesn't have enough water in. So I always kind of top it up. So I, there's whatever... There's no point in boiling a full kettle, or even a half of one. That's a waste. You want to get the right amount, because it's quicker, and it's more, you know, saves electricity and all the rest of that. But you would expect to have a little bit more water in there than you actually need. So you, you, so you make sure you've got enough, right? So, of course, you boil it, you pour out your, your cup of tea... And then uh, there's still a bit of water in there. And you're not gonna, I'm not going to pour that water away. I'm going to just top that up again. So there's probably particles of water that have been in the kettle for like... Well, I've not, I was going to say a million years, but obviously that's not a thing. But if I live to be like a million years old, they might be in there for a million years. And that just seems kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> but what is it? Oh. Are you all right? You don't seem well. What's wrong? Infected with a red lyrium. I can feel them. At the tips of my fingers beneath my nails, under my eyes. I know what's happened. I I have a letter from my love. Would you place it in the hollow? E wolf. I didn't break. Okay, we can do that. Oh, and then she just died. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. You have to help us. They'll turn us into those things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're helping you. It's fine. Um Are all the cages open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it gets emptied out eventually. Especially I don't know what the water quality is like up your way, Squidge, but down here it is like chalky. Uh so like a lot of you guys, you you probably like if you saw my kettle, it'd probably be disgusted. It's like lime scaled up. It's awful. So occasionally we will do like a proper clean out of it and like, you know, you get the lime scale remover on it and you know get you know, tidy it up. Because, you know, there's only so much, like, you can allow that to go on for. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, you know, obviously, exaggeration, it would it would uh, last for a million years. But could be like six months, <laughs> in theory. But it's like, whatever. Whatever. It's, it's crazier things trying to kill you in this society than uh, reboiled water. Let me tell you that. Um... Have, have I been down there? Have I been up here? No, is this even going anywhere? It's not even a thing. Um, that looks like a thing. That's not a thing. Uh, I don't know what they could have done with the maps exactly, but they could, they could have somewhat improved the maps, I feel, in this game. I don't know what they'd do. 
Um, um, I, I don't know about you, Wolf, but I'm doing fantastically. I look at this. I've been not around. Uh, so I've still got to get down here for some red templars and free some more villagers. Uh, random quest there, a landmark there. Okay, well, I don't know. This is the answer. It's not very helpful, is it? Okay, maybe I've got to head up here. It seems like it. But yeah, how's uh, how's your for Friday? It's got well, I assume it's you know, if it is a fine ass one, it's gonna be uh pretty good. Pretty good. Um Uh Oh right, I was gonna say, Squidge, yeah, if anyone's kicking off for you, Squidge, in chat, well one you can, I know you can handle your own. You don't need me looking after you, but also I will yeet them out of existence, so But yeah, no, somebody uh what in uh in your professional life or uh, is it like family friends bs here we go all right that's got our uh, landmark this stone this boulder this snowy boulder belongs to us now see our flag in it i mean it's ours um excellent wolf well, you know, there's nothing I can do to help, Squidge, but if you were to imagine there was a situation I could help with, you know, uh, you just got to let me know, and I'll... You, know, you want to hold his nib to have a word with someone? Oi! I'll have a word. Have a little... Have a little chit-chat. No. <laughs> I just make things worse, but... <laughs> I hope you appreciate the sentiment, at least. Um... Who was it? I told, uh, I told, I don't know, I told someone the other, yeah, I was, yeah, I told Mike the other day, I was like, Mike was, uh, you know, Mike's just started this new job, and he's doing all right, but uh, there's a couple of things he was like, not too sure about, and I was like, yeah, that sounds a bit iffy to me, mate, um, if you want me to have a word with them, I'll, I don't care, I'll have a word with anyone, you know, if it's my, if someone who's not my friend, and they're, uh, you know, it's justified, then, um, I I'll kick off anyone, I don't care. I have to kick off. Like, you know, understand kicking off. I don't start with kicking off. I start with, like, ultimate utter politeness and benefit of the doubt. But then if people are, like, being unreasonable, then I start kicking off. And I'm like, oi, oi. Is it right and wrong is a thing. It might be intangible. You might not be able to explain it or, you know, even agree on it. But I'm, I'm willing to uh, have that conversation. God damn it, how do I get up here? Amount of mountaineering you need to do in this game. Here we go, so I just jump on top of here, and we should be good. There we go. Right, okay, let's try and head directly west and or south. Okay, well, this is heading south, so let's try this way. Um, um okay. So this particular person doesn't read audiobooks or lis listen to audiobooks. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, so they were like, I, I don't listen to them, so you should give me one for free. And the audi that that was you were already giving them one for free, right? That seems weird. Um, I, I would ask what the uh, relationship is. Squidge, are they just like someone on your mailing list? They're not someone who's like a, a patron or anything. So I mean, I would just like you know, if they're just like on your mailing list, I'll just be like, oh, 
ignore them. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I didn't see your message. I didn't see your email. Yeah, never mind. Not important. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, Rue. It does seem a little... just yeah, smack of a little bit of entitlement. Maybe I didn't mean it like that, though. It's, um... But, like, you know, it's, um... I don't know. I feel sometimes people, um... Understand that, you know... Because there are, you know, there are, like, businesses and corporate entities out there that are not people. They're run by people, but they're not people. So they're, you know, they're, they kind of can be sus. They can be, um, you know, you don't necessarily want to, like, trust them. And, you know, and, and demand more from them. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that, but, um... But... You know, Squidge isn't a corporation. She's like a self-employed, self-published author. It's like... Okay. So it's like, a, you know, so understand you're talking to a real person who's asking you a real question. I don't know, not everyone... Some people are weird. Um, yeah, nah, okay, so they're literally... So this person may literally have li never listened to an audiobook in their life. Uh, so they, they didn't know that the possibility of getting a free one was that, Squidge. They, you literally asked the question... Where do you usually buy audiobooks? And their response was, I don't. You should give me one for free to see if I will get into them. Because then that is definitely entitled. It's like, why would you even... Why would you even say something like that? I always like mountains. They let you know where you stand. I mean, he's all trying to make a joke there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you guys are climbing down this ladder, because I'm climbing up it. No, no, yeah, like, if you'd already kind of hinted at the fact that there might be a, a, a free audiobook in it for them, then, it, you know, I wouldn't see, I wouldn't look read into that. If you hadn't, and this person had no idea, and they were literally saying, Hey! Well, if you want me to answer that question, really should give me some free stuff. Hey, lady, give me free stuff. Then that's like... How about you... Oh. Because <laughs> uh, that's, not, that's not appropriate, uh, in my opinion. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like even, even like a corporation, if they're like trying to do some kind of weird marketing stuff on me, I'm not going to just turn around to them and be like, you should give me free stuff. If they want to give me free stuff, I'd be very happy to have it. But I'm not going to ask it for it because I'm not, I'm not entitled, you know. Some crazy, crazy kids around. I'll tell you that. Um. <laughs> uh. No, yeah, hundred, hundred percent root, hundred percent. No, of course, Squidge. Yeah, just um, don't worry about those. You know, what one random weirdo. You've got, like, multiple non-random weirdos right here. So it's like, you know. <laughs> you don't need a random one. Six hundred influence, bloody hell. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we can go for that. Damn, level 17. Wow, Venatori helmet. I don't know if you want to be wearing that, but also if the stats are good. I'm... We're in disguise. We're pretending to, we're pretending to be the bad guy. Right, okay, here we go. So let's, um, I guess we should look at Cassandra first and foremost. Damn, yeah, it's amazing. There you go. Cassandra, you can tend to be a bad guy for a bit. Although we've got our uh, showing of the helms, like, disabled, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, so I think Alana's already got um, a warden helm. Yeah, and there's no difference in any of the stats, no. Uh, so, I mean, I guess we'll... Okay, and... Uh... Varric's already got better. Okay, we've got a spare warden helm for somebody else when we switch them back in. Maybe Sarah, but I think we've got something extra for Sarah anyway, but... Uh, whoever's switching. Uh, Dorian, maybe. Uh, okay, so it looks like I've actually cleared out down here. So there's a few things here to the north. A shard, three small villagers, and a, a random thing. Okay. It'd just be ironic if um, you'd not mentioned about the free audiobook. And you you were like, you well, you know, <laughs> I was about to give you a free audiobook until you asked for one. <laughs> now you can... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. uh. Uh, willpower amulet. Oh, okay. If that's decent warrior armor there. For next level. Not quite as good anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Alarm is leveled up. Right, here we go. So, um... Let me get that. Uh... Mana regenerates faster when you're near hostile enemies. So any time within five meters of any random enemy, we get a 50% regen rate on our mana. Boom. Yes, please. Well, take that. Uh, so definitely, um, even if I'm not using the sword and the spirit blade, if I just, like, position myself, you know, relatively near to an enemy, definitely not a bad thing. Oh, okay, so we've got some veil fire. What are we doing with this? I don't know. Oh. What? Oh, random ice staff. Might be good. Um, so this is just a dead end? Why is it giving me random veil fire and a random dead end? You know, I have no idea, but it seemingly has. Okay, it looks... Never mind, it looks like I've got to head back the other way and kind of uh, angle a bit towards the east. Let's give that a go. How random. Very random. Oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. That's what it's for. Master Frost Rune Schematic. Boom. That'll be useful for later. Finally, once we're kind of, um... I don't know, maybe not the end stages of the game, but, uh... You know, after maybe we've done our initial uh, run-through of kind of all the... These areas that have opened up, I can kind of, um... Yeah, I think it's got to be this way. Uh, you know, he's trying to make some, you know, craft some decent gear and weapons and get them roomed up and everything um, as well. Uh, with all the materials we've collected, that would not be a, a bad thing. Okay. I don't know if we come back on ourselves there, because we've... Uh, or two things there. Unless I'll do a bit of mountaineering. I don't know. 
Interesting. Let's just head this way for a second. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Random locked door. Maybe. Random locked something. Apparently. Okay, that's cool. That's bottle number 18. Go on, Varric. You can do it. I know you've got little legs, buddy. <laughs> Listen. Uh, oh, what me? Where's the lock, then? Weird. Okay. Below us somehow? Somewhere? I don't know. Definitely a lock on the uh, map there. I, don't know. I feel like I'd already checked this side, I don't know. Okay, random wolf. Doesn't even want to fight. Weird, it's like, I mean, it's definitely here, but it's like, it's not here. Um, my confusion knows no bounds. Uh, anyway, let's, um, I just want to stress it. It's a bit strange. Um, <laughs> Root, yeah, I mean, that, that's the plan, isn't it? That's what you all want. Hey, are you uh but in uh in real life are you uh are you a wine drinker um it's freaking wolves they, they don't, can't don't think they might if they want to uh fight or not i'm not massively into wine i guess i will drink it just because i'm more like a weird like consumer <laughs> uh so, like in the in the literal sense i suppose the buying sense um but I'm not like, massively into alcohol in general. But I suppose if I if I am drinking alcohol, I'm either going for like probably light beer, cider, or possibly I don't need to fight that hallo. Disengage, folks. Or oh, fight the wolf though. Um, or maybe like rum, dark rum and coke, or some other kind of mixer, I guess. But I um. I go months without drinking alcohol. It's certainly not something I spend money on. Bull, you're always setting things on fire, buddy. Yeah, absolutely not. Just get, get, get grapes are great. I'm a big fan of fruit. <laughs> In, in all its many varieties. <laughs> but yeah, wine, I'm like, Meh, not for me. Not really for me. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I can understand the, uh, I appreciate, like, the, the cra craftsmanship that goes into, like, uh, you know, brewing of alcohols, fermenting of alcohol. There's something to that. Any kind of craft like that, I can definitely respect, but I've never, like, I've never drank wine and been like oh this is really yummy it's really yummy uh because it's not <laughs> some people i don't know some people don't like it i don't know i don't know they're not to say but <laughs> all right hey, Varric, are you gonna write me into one of your stories how could i not uh, when you do make sure you describe the musculature right because uh, this isn't just endurance work there was a lot of strength training to get here you want to use words like rippling or ripped. Ripped is good, too. 
The Iron Bull's belly was prone to rippling after every meal. <laughs> he rarely wore shirts as they ripped under the strain. <laughs> that hurts, Varric. That's hurtful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, low. Hmm, there's something over here, right? Let me try, um... Oof, okay, it's fine. Oh, is this a... This is one of these sections I've not actually been to yet. I don't know. Still looking for stuff, apparently. Oh, there you go. That's, uh... I found a letter from Samson himself. Another one? How many of these letters are we looking for, exactly? Must be, uh, flowers? Above us? I don't know. Yeah. Need to get to a uh, camp and get our potions back. Right, yes. Let's uh, free these guys. Indeed. That's a little Varric's little tether thing there he's put down. You're allergic to ethanol. That's like literally the base component of alcohol, isn't it? It's interesting. I feel like in uh, my parents' generation, it was like everybody drank alcohol, and it was like, I guess like in our generation, we've got the internet, so it's like we don't have to make up random crap to be like entertained. We just we've got all the entertainment right there. If you know, if you go looking for it, you know what I'm saying. You don't. This has got to be it, right? There we go. Okay, I don't know how to get to that shard and that. I must. I might have to drop down from the top of the keep there. Wait, let me just uh, while we're here, I'll just try heading this way. Okay, and the thing that's brought us back. Yeah, it's got a little little bit of nubbin in the south there, but I don't know that's even a thing we can get to. No, that's not like it. Is this way a bit, maybe? Um... Damn, you're allergic to most things, aren't you, Af? Unfortunately, thankfully, you're not allergic to me. Is that we have a problem? Um, yeah, Squidge. I mean, if you can, you can drive safely on one or even two drinks. But that is, I know there's like a, a limit, but I, I don't know if I was like. I don't drive, so it doesn't matter. But if I was driving, I would be, like, very uh, concerned. Like, I'd be like, oh, do you want to drink his? No, I'm driving. Oh, but you can have one drink safely. Yeah, but I'd rather just... You know, why would I even think that that was a good idea to risk that? You know what I mean? Just just don't do it. Uh, okay, has the Baron got something for us? Any news, Baron? Judy Kale's crossing has been rebuilt. Thanks to our combined efforts. Cool. Scouts have spotted a dragon flying through the hills. 
If this is Ugh. my dragon ready to spawn, there is reason for concern. Indeed. Was that all of it? Take my leave. No, you got something else. Day, is it not? This is gone. News, Baron. We plan to push into the region to make it safe for trade and travel. Any news, Baron? By request of the people of Sarnia, Mistress Pulin, town elder, has been delivered to Skyhold to await justice. Yeah, well, I'll hear about that. Is everything? Nothing you haven't already heard. Cool. Okay, there we go. So we got those uh, tanked off. Ah, uh, okay. This shard was all the way up here. No wonder I can get from it down there. <laughs> um. Right, okay. So I've got shards here and some random crap in the map. And I've also got to try and get to that thing. Uh, okay, that's, uh, and we need to rest at camp. Well, not rest at camp necessarily. Let's um, head this way. I'll tell you this, though. The thuggish G Ray is like Squidge. Squidge, no way. Who do you think you are, Squidge? I'm thuggish G Ray. And I am. Over 9,000. That's what you said to your squidge. Uh, <laughs> he's like, you, you have to want second spot here. Not happening. Thank you, Gary. How you doing, bro? Talk to me. I guess he's like, I think, I don't know. I think he might be at work. I think he's like hardcore lurking. I don't think he can actually speak at the minute. Bless him. Um, but thank you for stacking, you know, doing that eternal lurk, G-Ray. I do appreciate it. He's stacking those points there. Um, there we go. 38th. 38th flex boom thank you very much sir oh there we go all updated i hope you're well though buddy it's, it's been a while always always here if you need me um Yeah, a, a, root a tech companies like that. Yeah, that's just our squidge. That's just our weird culture, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, see, see, I don't really drink sea star. If you're gonna pay me to get drunk on company time, I'm like, yo, hell yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that. Um. <laughs> We've got to do some ah right i forgot to do some further testing for science to find the uh the potential uh allergic reaction okay i'll see what i can do unfortunately my arms aren't long enough but well uh i'm sure we can sort something out um yeah and no, i respect that i respect that squidge yeah it makes sense it makes sense wow I mean, Root, that, sound, <laughs> that sounds uh, honestly kind of pretty cool to me. Like, I would not, I'd not be upset about that. You could argue that, I don't know, some companies are like, well, this is good for morale to, uh, you know, to take this approach. You know. But, um, I don't know, it seems wild. Like, the pro productivity that's lost. Now, you know, treat treat your staff well, uh, you know. Treat your employees well and, and such, definitely. But, hey, how, how's work going, Bob? Oh, yeah, it's going good. Well, stop doing your work and eat this steak and drink this wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bob, Bob was a Canadian, if you weren't, you weren't sure. Um, you know, it's like, are you... You know, it's like I can't really argue against it, can I? Do you know what I mean? It's, um, well, I want to get that. I don't know what that is. I want to get that. Um, we can get the uh, those other shards nearby when we try and head over the bridge. Now, there, as the Baron pointed out, there are dragons nesting over that way to the east. Um, we can't really be dealing with those. We can't really be dealing with a single dragon, let alone multiple dragons at the minute. Um, so we need to. Uh, you know, we're going to head over there because I think there's a little bit of way we can go. Oh, here we go. Perfect. 
Right, done. That's done. Um, it's a fog of war. Don't mind them, though. Um, but yeah, I think there's maybe a couple of fade risks we can get to safely. I'll have a little gander at least. We'll be prepared to run away at a moment's notice. Although the party's like level 16, we may be close to being like able to fight dragons. I don't know. Dead person there. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff to do down here. We'll do that all in a second. Um, oh, what's that? <coughs> uh, okay, that's something we just picked up a second ago. Um, oh. Oh. It's a bit of a uh, fog is doing my thing. Get to it up there. Down here. I don't want to go. Okay, I don't think there was another round way round. Oh, unless we jump up here, maybe. Can we get up here, even? I don't know, we can. Uh, it's just a little... Nah, okay, so that's into the keep. There's another way round that way. Okay, um, I can only assume there's nothing there because this is kind of all surrounded by rocks on the outside that I cannot climb. Unless I were to get up into the fortress, the keep, and just yeet myself off the edge to potentially add demise. Um, don't really feel there's too much I can do about it. So uh, let's jump back here for a second. Um, You know what, uh, Rude? That's kind of cool. That's that's kind of the um, vibe that you actually want for a company uh, that I've I've never experienced. Everyone works hard because they get treated well, and they believe in what they're doing, or at least they're you know they're passionate or at least committed to what they're doing. Rather than we're going to pay you minimum wage and everything's regulated, and uh, you know you're like oh I've got to take my break, and then you know. The company's not looking out for you, and consequently, you're not looking out for the company. You know what I mean? Whereas if they're going to feed you nice food, and then there's, like, no deadlines, because they don't need a deadline, because everyone's working their hardest anyway. My God, that sounds amazing, honestly. I can't imagine. Um... Oh, indeed, as in... Uh... As in the uh, the uh, the website for uh, the job hunting website. No, and that's the thing. These uh, these large corporations can do that, and I think it's much easier to, um, it's, uh, rather it's much harder to treat your employees too nicely that they become complacent and lazy. It's far easier, in my experience, for corporations to treat their employees like absolute shit uh and then you know just builds resentment and it's like oh yeah we can't trust these people we've employed why did you employ them then <laughs> those corporations are not about um Uh, okay, indeed I've better food than Facebook. Interesting. Ah, less moral implications. Okay. I'll see.
By the way, Varric, you write some nice fight scenes. Well, thank you. I'm surprised you think so. They're not exactly realistic. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I figured that out when the good guy did a backflip while wearing a chainmail shirt. Yeah. And that didn't bother you? Back in Zaharon, I fell on a guy who tried to stab me in the gut. I felt the blade chip as it went through my gut and hit my back ribs. Ooh. But I was alive and on top. I soared through the armor on the rebel's neck, back and forth until it went red. I don't need a book to remind me that the world is full of horrible crap. Possible swashbuckling it is. Bam. You mean threat ball. Um. What am I looking for here? Not that. Okay, something in the area. Got ya. Not, not precisely on that point. That's just the central point. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. Quest completed. Run around and read some books. Okay, that's cool. Um... Still confused by that door. I'm not going to stress it. Sorry. It's got to be in that tower, but I... I saw no... Uh... No locked door in that tower. Let me just double check. I don't think there's anything up there. Rue, uh, get on that uh, lurk. Abby? How you doing, Abby? Um, whipped cream cheese. I uh, is it is it good? It sounds a bit sounds a bit weird, Scotty. But I, also, I would obviously definitely eat it. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused about this. I'm just going to leave it. Um, <clears throat> I do not be you well. Um, okay, you got a non-surprise meeting route. All right, you get on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, talk about doggos. Probably not as nice as your dog guy. So angry. Uh, right, okay. Let's head the right this way. I'll just screw these wolves. I just rough the hell off. I need to kill them. I'll kill them if they come after us. Otherwise, it's kind of, kind of pointless. Um, oh, I'm very well, uh, Abby. How? Are you? You're well. Excellent. Everyone out here is well, I believe. I think everyone's having a good day. Uh, Metapod's had to go to the doctors. He's not feeling too well. Uh, Jesh is uh, getting a bloody x-ray on his leg tomorrow. He got uh, some some nut job drove into him on his when he was on his bicycle the other day. People need to calm down. Calm down. Don't be, don't be driving into people. You know, is that, is that, am I, I'm asking too much. I, th I think like you should be uh, uh, able to like <laughs> not be <laughs> not have someone drive the car into you if you're like a pedestrian or cyclist. I think that's reasonable, isn't it? Um, what the hell, whipped cream cheese? Well, I, I, what? Can I can I have some? He said, uh, so he said he was, he was getting better, Sea Star, the past couple of days. But that today, it hurts more. 
likes off. I was speculate. Yeah, it's got patience, all right. I was speculating that maybe it was just um. Thank you. Sean. Sean. How you doing? Let me just finish my thought. So yeah, I, specu I speculated uh, C style that it was just like, you know, the initial impact on his leg, like the swelling and the bruising or whatever. That um, that's what he was feeling initially, and that subsided. And now that subsided, the actual potential internal damage, he's feeling that now, and he's like, oh dear. Let's go check this out. Sean, can't stay long. Oh no, of course. Sean, yeah, I'm always here if you need me, my dear. I don't. I know, you know, I'm not like I never would like pressure anyone, but I just want people to know that. You know, some people want different uh, degrees of uh, interaction, um, and I am open to all with with anyone, uh, but I would never like pressure anyone to do anything. But yeah, so I hope you're well, Sean. Uh, know that I am here if you need me. Um, you know, I know in practical sense I can't do anything, but but uh, my God, twenty two months. That's dedication for you there, folks. I appreciate it, Sean. But anyway, you you head out. Take care of what you need to, uh, Sean. I appreciate that greatly. I'm always here for you. Um, I'm, look, Abby. <laughs> look, Abby. I know. I know it might be tempting. I know you might not be able to hurt yourself, but please just try and restrain yourself a little bit, my dear. You know. <laughs> I know it's like it's crazy, isn't it? This. Now, Jesh said the guy stopped, helped him up, and was like, "Oh, oh, hey, buddy. Sorry, sorry, I just ran you over there. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, you seem okay. Bye." I just, I'm like. Now, it could have been worse. He could have been, like, hit and run and just, like, absolutely just left him there, obviously. But still, I don't know. I feel like I, if that was me, I'd be like, look, can I take you to hospital? Can I give you a ride home? Can I... Is there a thing I can do that would help even slightly? Not just pick you up and dust you off and be like, yeah, you seem fine, buddy. See you later. I don't know. I do not know. Um, right, okay, so we have multiple dragons hanging around here. At least two, maybe more. And I think they're like high, high you know, even by the, the other dragons, they are chonky boys. So I'm just poking my head in, and as soon as we need to, I'm just going to run away. I think this might be one of the places to go to. Looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh my god, he's excited. Yeah, <laughs> one of the dragons is up that way. We're not gonna go in for it. Sorry, bull. Sorry to disappoint you, buddy. We'll fight some red templars instead. Yeah. How's, how do you feel about that? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't know that has anything to dispel there. Oh, that's how a potion's gone, isn't it? Oh my god. Wow. Oh. That doesn't sound right. 
I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, you'd think so. you think so, Abby. I, I don't know. Like, so, you know, obviously, we weren't there. Obviously, Jesh is the one who knows how it goes down. But it's like, obviously, if that happens, you're in shock. You're immediately in shock. Um, and maybe the guy who's actually ran him off, the, you know, the road is also in shock. But not as much because they didn't actually get hit. They just did the hitting. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn, 5,000 XP for that. Okay. I so, no. Um... Okay, we're not out of potions just yet, so I think we're okay for a minute. Let me do a save once we get that power. Um, I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I just feel, like, so bad. I just wouldn't... I, don't, I, I wouldn't know what to do, but I certainly wouldn't just, like... Uh, who knows? Maybe the guy was, like... Oh, yeah, offered. And was like, yeah, let me take you to the hospital. Let me take you home. Let me do this. Let me do that. And maybe Jesh being in shock was like, no, oh, it's, it's okay, buddy. Don't worry about it. And just kind of like, maybe just left it. And the guy, maybe the guy's thinking about it right now and he's like feeling guilty and he doesn't know how to get hold of Jesh and he's just like, what can I do? But either way, I don't know. Just the, the whole thing it seems a bit, okay, got ocularum up there somewhere. Or fade rift down there. Let's keep going this way to start with. Bull, how did you just die, bro? What on earth? I'm gonna um stick that on those guys. I mean, more than one, uh, Cass, honestly, but never mind. God, we're getting so much XP. 5,000 XP for each one of these. What? What? That's, uh, that's crazy. Um. Yeah. God. What are you doing to me, Sky? Oh. There we go. There's a big boy flying around. Okay, I think this goes through a second dragon fight. Let's see what Bull says. Looks like yeah. dragon terror. This is going to be good. <laughs> Look how excited he gets. <laughs> no, it's not, Bull. We're not ready for, to fight dragons, mate. We'll come back later. What's he like? He's a nightmare. Can't take him anywhere. At least, to be fair, to his credit, most people are like, don't want to fight dragons. Most people are like, oh, how about we don't do that? And Bull's like, yo, dragons? My favourite thing. So for that... If nothing else, I feel like um, we kind of have to respect him.
Oh, we got. Um, is that two there? I've got to tell with the angle. I think that's two. I can't see my friggin' marker either. Let's go for that. There we go. I've got at least one. I'll do. Oh my god, look at these things. Slaps around. Doubly slaps around. Oh, bull. Bull, where are you, buddy? That's your corpse. He's, uh, he's right there. Okay. <laughs> Too squish, buddy. Too squish. did it yeah Abby yeah it does yeah and bulls right well into it but I don't know why if these demons are yeeting him I don't know if he thinks a dragon's gonna do to him what do you think buddy what do you think <laughs> uh, but yeah they're at oh look it's, there's two there flying around monstrous uh they will absolutely Yeet us. Well, I don't know if I should say that, Abby, because we're like reasonably highish level at the moment. Oh, what's this? Random sword in the lake? It's a pirate cutlass. That's terrible. It's not terrible. It's just not that great. How random. Um. So, you're Ben Hazrath, huh? The spies of the Konari. Oh, you've heard of us. I spent some time in Kirkwall. That must have been fun. You could say that. But, yeah, so even if we can take them, they would be like a super long, arduous fight. So I'm more inclined to, for us to just put it off for a little bit, basically. Cassandra. What are we getting for you, my dear? Yeah, I wasn't too concerned about that at the minute because it's kind of good, but Cassandra's not going to die. So let's get the Blessed Blades. Um... Damage bonus when facing demons. Seems good. We'll let her use that as and when she feels. Oh, hang on. We got um, the others, the other two as well. Um, uh, ball. Um, yeah, let's get the upgrade for his uh, ring of pain, I guess. Reduces the uh, cost of it and the cooldown on it, so. Although we probably just want to go and heal up right about now. Honestly. Let me do a save. We'll give it a go. I'm bloody Varric. I'm, I'm so used to this. Oh, we've got a level up. Don't worry about all the other characters. <laughs> they also have a level up. Um, let's get that. Yeah, we've got some big boys. Never mind. I'm going to, um... Let's head back for a second and get a heal. This area is tough. Welcome back, Sween. Yeah, maybe I've only really had to... Uh... That, yeah, Dairy Lee or uh, Philadelphia Squidge. And I've never... I mean, I don't add it often, but um, I never noticed it being like a pain to spread. So maybe... Um, maybe what Scotty's used to is like some like proper... Like just bespoke stuff. I don't know. Um, 
that it may taste good, but it's a pain to spread. So it sounds like this um, whipped stuff is like the other extreme. Yeah, either way, I, I want to try it. Ham and spinach omelette? Oh my god. <sighs> Scott, you make me hungry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sweden, I don't know what to say. As, as someone who's not a parent, uh, I can't relate to. I can't, oh my god, they're just flying around. They're just like, yeah, we're fine. We're just, we're just there. What are you going to do? You're going to fight us? Yes, we will, but not right now. Um, Squid went like that. She doesn't like me killing dragons. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, here we go. Let's claim that. Should have got that on the way through, but never mind. Uh... That sounds wrong. Good. But yes, I would uh, be like, yo, child. What you eating? My, this is my food, child. Get your own food. And the child is like, no, that's your job. And I was like, oh, oh I gave birth to you. Do I have to do everything for your child? <laughs> I guess the answer is yes. So good luck to you, Sween. I respect it. Um... I just can't imagine being like, he, oh, yeah, you're trying to take my food and being okay with that. <laughs> Yo, Mike, how you doing, bro? Are you well? You just got to work, have you? Where the do I even... Interesting, I don't think I went this way. Looks quite similar, doesn't it? I love the fact there's a hot spring imagine sat in like outside in a really really in a pool a natural pool of really hot water and it's like snowing and it's free the air is freezing cold something about that seems like that would be so goddamn awesome and is the ocularum at the top there or is it on this platform it must be at the top somewhere so, if that's going to reveal a bunch of shards, it seems like possibly we're not actually going to be able to get to those shards until such time when we, uh... Yeah, it's even got markers. Hervenal dragon. Uh, Kaltenz Kaltenzar dragon. And the Highland Ravager. There's three dragons around here. Aye, aye, aye. That's two of them. Yeah, your sandwich was Sweenling's second breakfast. Wow, well, there, yeah, there you go. All I can say to this is Sweenling, aren't you glad you got such an awesome, awesome mum? Because uh, if you didn't, well, you know, no second breakfast for you. Oh my god, little bugs are attacking me. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> probably a better place to actually just get down there rather than trying to fight them from up here. I don't know. Just hope my wonderful party members can keep up. Here we go. Well, it's me and Cassandra for the win, eh?
All right. One there, one next to us here. And that's one. Okay, that's one there. So I wonder if I'm going to hit these two here. Yes, nice. Nice. Cool, there we go. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, what a second breakfast, even. Cool, that's all right. Are you getting, uh, are you getting all the weekends off, Mike? Or uh, is it still kind of up in the air at the minute? God, hang on a second. This snow is... It's, I think it's time for the hoodie. Hang on. God. All right. <laughs> So, I don't know. He has. He definitely has a psychological effect on me. Not significantly. I know other people like feel it more, but wow, dead person. There's a lot of dead people in uh, in Pre de Leon, isn't there? Right. Okay. That's another fade rift closed. So you still want to get up to that third tower there. So I don't think we can get to that ocularum without first dealing with that dragon. So that might have to wait until uh, we come back to here in the future. Uh, this way? It's, uh, it's an impressive zone, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Like all of that we've been around. Damn. Not had a good time of it, have you? Oh, imagine if I just threw myself off there. Let's not do that. Uh, <laughs> imagine. I've done stupider things on stream. Okay, that's clearly down into the dragon. It's interesting. I wonder if these, how these three dragons, like, uh, kind of relate to each other in the wild. Do they like leave each other alone? Are they, is it beneficial for them to be in the same spot? Have they just independently, all three of them discovered like this very mountainous region and they're all like, oh yeah, I'm going to, I want to make a den here. This is where I'm going to live. Um, or what? I don't know. I'm curious. I can't really ask them, unfortunately. Now, I assume... There you go. Calm yourself, oh, Bull. <laughs> Bull, calm yourself. <laughs> Jeez. He's very into dragons, isn't he? Maybe even more than the squidge. Right, okay. So I think we just want to have a little look up here. This, like, we claim this tower from the Red Templars, and then that should be the end of this area for the time being. Oh, that didn't work out exactly, did it? Yeah, it's a bit of a waste. All things told. Never mind, eh?
freaking mark up there. Wow, Cassandra. Getting knocked around. Oof. Okay, cool, we got him. Aye, aye, aye. You know, I met the Arashok. Oh, the old one. Man, he had an impression. Cool, there hey, you go. That's right then, Mike. The new Arashok doesn't have Compromise. Usually means they're destined for something special. I met him too. The only thing they seem to have in common is a tendency to burn things. That pretty much sums up the Antam, yes. Boom. Okay. Excellent. Level up. Influence. La di da. All right. Let's see. God, we've got a lot of XP around here. I'll say that. Okay, uh, so this is... Um, any successful attack strengthens your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. Now, 30% of damage dealt. Does that mean I'm getting a, a, constantly getting a barrier added? Um, as I'm uh, attacking, I guess. So if I put a barrier on myself and then keep attacking, it could be that, assuming I don't get hit, the barrier will just stay there. I don't... I don't know. I'll have to see how good it is. Um, right, okay. And that's an exit to the area. Fast travel point. If you want to... We want to come back and uh, say hello to the dragons. But for now, we are we are seemingly done here, I believe. Um, uh, we want to head back into uh into town, don't we? Loads, bunch of stuff to turn in. Um, yeah, Mike, he's already head off to work. Um, <laughs> Inquisitor. <laughs> No, Abby, I appreciate it. We're all about silly jokes here. Bring it on. Uh, <laughs> I can't say for certain, but I think specifically those three dragons are the toughest dragons. In the game. Did you? You lied to everyone. You lied. You knew what the Red Templars were doing, but you took their gold and stayed silent. Yes, I took their gold. Gold and any supplies they would give, all so we could live. There are many orphans in Sarnia. Who protected them when their parents were lost? We couldn't run, not with the river frozen and the demons. If I had said anything, they would have killed me too. So I let them take people, and prayed that one day, someone like you would come destroy them. All we could do was survive till that day. Now it's come, hasn't it? I was right. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry, sorry, lady. She's saying, let's... It's essentially, she's saying, let's compromise with the enemy, because 
overall less people will die. They, they were taking people prisoner and turn them into red lyrium monsters. I mean, people were taken, infected with red lyrium because of your actions. What else could I do? Take up the old pitchfork to fight? Run away? Those who died would have died regardless. This way, at least some survived. Mm. We'll see. We'll see about that. I think we might be taking her in and judging her, actually, back at the, uh, the skyhold. No, I dropped it. It's gone. Gone. No, it's not. There you go. You found it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Of course. Never let it go again. Oh, okay, I'll let uh, Michelle know we killed the demon. No sign of trouble at the moment. It's done. The demon is dead. It is finally over. I wish I could have heard him scream, but Sanya is safe. It is a good day. Now I find myself free to choose a new direction. I would be honored to serve the Inquisition, if it will have me. The Inquisition welcomes you, Michel de Cheval. I shall return to your outpost to await further instruction. Cool. Stop poking me with your sword, buddy. Try that, at least. Uh, new, new agent. Influence as well. Nice. Yes, cool. I don't know what he does exactly, but... um. Lewis killed your brother. We don't even know about that. Louis wrote this confession. Yeah, Louis. Okay. He killed your brother. No, that can't be. God is fighting in the war. He enlisted with the Empress's army. I'd like to be alone. Please, Lee. That's fine. If you want to, um... If you want to be in denial, that's up to you, love. Um, I, don't, I should have paid attention to the quest, but never mind. Anyway, there's one little thing to turn in this direction. Still confused about that locked door, but... Never mind, eh? Okay, she want, some lady wanted a note placed there for someone. Okay, cool. Right. So, Empire de Leon. Mysterious locked door. I don't know. I can't find it at all. So, as far as I can tell, there's three crazy high-level dragons to fight. And there's that ocularum to look at, presumably to reveal a bunch of shards that we... You know, can't kind of get to because of the dragon. So I think that for now, that's our first pass over of uh, of um, Empire de Leon taken care of. Yeah, there's three of them. We saw them flying around the squidge. We'll have to stay away from them because they will they'll 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 eat us alive. I don't want that. Uh, we'll be back to see them later though. Don't worry about that. I think that's the thing about dragons. They're cool, but they they are inclined to eat you. Not all of them. It depends, doesn't it? But these ones. That's the thing. Drag. You know, I I'm I like all dragons like you, Squidge. But I like the dragons where they have human intelligence and like, uh, insane intellect, insane magical abilities, shape shifting. You know, then they're, they're they're a drag. A dragon isn't just a big flying lizard. It isn't just like the thing out of Game of Thrones. Um, it's more akin to the thing from Skyrim, but even more than the thing in Skyrim. Um, for better or worse, dragons in Dragon Age are just giant beasts. They're just giant flying reptile, fire-breathing reptiles that just want to, you know, feast on f flesh. They don't, you know, they're fire-breathing winged dinosaurs. They're just, you know. 
for bet for better or worse or right, anyway i want to go and check up on uh i'm sure at least cullen has returned from his mission I'll check on the all three of them anyway i've got a um the bad kind yeah you know like a, any wild ant predator you just stay away from them but if you have to deal with them they you know you gotta defend yourself Right, let's have a look at what perk we can get. And let's, uh, I don't think we've, ah, uh, there you are. Michelle de Chavin. 5% of the time it's six for Cullen to complete operations. Okay, cool. Right, so we can get a bunch of random schematics. Increases the maximum of potions the party can carry by four. That's pretty good. That'll go up from t eight to 12. True grit. All party members gain 10% increase to all defenses. That's not terrible extra focus that makes it um twice as a powerful your focus abilities uh rider's posture i'm not worried about that um 10 percent increase to get extra uh cuttings from uh harvesting oh yeah we we planted some seeds in our garden we should probably go check on that um eagle eye significant increase to the discovery range okay that's kind of cool but whatever uh, random collection of herbs Hmm. Um, okay, that's uh, to buy and uh, sell items, make more gold. Uh, random stock of raw materials. Uh, you'll receive messages when there are sales, merchants have sales in their stores, whatever. Um, increased carry capa inventory capacity. That's pretty cool, and I do want that, but. Right, that's an extra potion slot. Not too sure, you know, good, but not that important at the moment. I think, um, honestly, I think uh, more healing potions, getting the true grit, and maybe even getting the focus are more important at the minute. I will, for now, I think we'll go with getting extra potions. That'll allow us to be in and out, you know, out and about without having to keep returning to camp as often. Right, okay, what we got. So, uh, color, uh, Lel's return with 145 gold. Thank you. Uh, oh, Anderfell's Cleaver schematic. Nice. Josie's return with, uh, inf Cullen's return with some influence. Oh, that's already done. Sorry. It's not that when they're all bunched together like this. Okay, let's just get random resources. Cloth. Leather. I think we might have clicked... Ah, oh, no. There you go. Assign uh, Michelle. What's we renowned Chevalier? His best grand uh, Duke of Squad in single combat. I could use an officer like that with that kind of experience. I bet you could, Colin. Um... Michelle can do little for me in Valroy's Halls of Power. But he knows about the Illuvians controlled by the Elves of Orlai, does he? I'll have him work with Solus and our scholars to discover who can about those mirrors. Mm. Liaisons of Southern Orlai. Um... I don't think any of this actually matters. Um, I'll go for Josie's one. Now, I think everything else is just uh, resources and such. I don't even know what I specifically need. I think, again, I'll probably just need gold at this uh, current juncture. what we have let's um hit some wastes i don't know what's out there to work we yeah, are um 
We're doing on time. Just gone five. Okay, I think before we uh make our next move. Okay, so you know there's a couple of things I want to do here before we think about that. Um I will take a, a, a the midstream break in a second, get out of coffee. And uh to come there yes do this quickly that's um no not there we'll come we'll do that in a second actually um garden is this way i believe there we go blood layers nice ah there we go let's plant some profits laurels as we've got the seeds. That's probably one that we need more than anything else. Right, okay, I think we're uh, we can sit in judgment of uh Lady Pauline, who uh sold out her own people to the Red Templars. Because she th her reasoning more of us would survive overall by doing that. Mistress Pulin of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pulin was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. Yeah, it's like... It's like if I sold the Conflux to, like, some uh, evil corporation that uh, was trying to enslave you all, but the money they gave me for buying the Conflux, I uh, I chucked, like, a, you know, a gift sub on each of your, uh, each of your channels. I'm like, yeah, but, you know... Sorry you're all enslaved now. You got a gift sub, though. <laughs> that's not a very, that's not a very good analogy, but <laughs> uh, I'll listen to a defence. If you'd like to explain your intentions, speak. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Yet you kept taking coin from the Red Templars, even after you realised what they'd done to the people. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's not it's good for the good. ones remaining. Isn't that enough? You question whether greed or necessity led me. Tell me which you weigh me for. You're free to go. No. Treason deserves death. Put her to work. Uh, have her rebuild the town. Yeah, if she's her own resources to do that. That seems like a good start. She's not like a danger to anyone. She needs to be punished. She shouldn't just be go free. It's got free. But I don't know if she needs to die. That's not actually going to help anything, is it? Put her to work doing something. I mean, I guess that means like menial slave labor. And then we'll just... Which is some, you know, irony to that. You know, like slavers should be made... Should, be, should a slaver be made to be a slave themselves? I don't know. Something to it. Yeah, rebuild the... Put your money and rebuild Mr. the town. You will spend all your ill-earned money Ooh, rebuilding like the town of Sarnia. Everyone else loved it. People forgive you. Your debt to them is paid. Your worship, I will do my best to repair what I have done. That seems reasonable. To me. Right. Um... Probably want to look at everyone's gear a little bit. I'm probably um an intern. <laughs> exactly, see star. Uh, <laughs> do you want to uh, intern on his nib show? I slick Mick. He's like, uh, he's like, when am I? When am I? Uh, when am I getting paid? Is I'm like, paid? What are you talking about, mate? <laughs> right, that's uh, Sarah. Get a couple of these passives here, I think. Uh, Dorian. We're yeah, we're building Dorian to a ne necromancer, weren't we? 
to get him that and that. <sighs> black wall. Okay, cool. We've got every black wall. Guard bonus, armor bonus. Yes, we'll get you those two. Coal. I'm sat on his stuff. He hasn't unlocked his, his his special tree. Maybe I need to go speak to him a little bit before he, that will happen. Right, Bull's all right. Varric is all right. Solus. All right, yeah, I think Solus is, is not um, unlocked either. What about Vivian? Indeed, okay. So I just want to do a bit more of an exploration of like the other areas, and then I'll kind of I don't want to like be running around speaking to everyone in Skyhold and seeing what's going on every single time we do like a new thing. Um, we can get to that in a bit. Okay, so let me just uh have a brief look over everyone's gear. All right, okay, we've got a couple of uh nice looking staffs there. Cassandra's all right. Sarah, no new bow. Oh, yes, yeah, she's leveled up now. She can. We've got a new bow for you. There you go, Sarah. Getting very blocky and woody, but never mind. Just get this, get the job done. That's what matters. Dorian, excellent. Which of these should we go for? Oh, that one definitely. Black wall. A fantasy shield for their bud. Oh no, hang on. We were giving that to Cass, weren't we? We were waiting for it to level up. Yeah, yeah. Overall, it is better. So there we go. Right, what's about the pirate cutlass? Not quite good enough. Cool. Okay, we'll give that to you, Blackpool. If it suits him, that's neither here nor there. Okay, we'll give him that uh, Winter's Breath shield. Cool. Uh, Cole, we had like a weird looking dagger I'd picked up. I swear. I didn't just sell it, did I? Ah, here we go. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Yeah, weird. Weird looking daggers he's got. Right, Vivian. Give her that. So, oh, Solus. Yeah, that's better than one we just gave him. Um, Barracks obviously fine. Bull's fine. There we go. Okay, so let's check it. That's checked everyone's weapons. All right, Cassandra. It's fine. Sarah. Here we go. I want to give you this, Sarah. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. I don't know if that suits her. <laughs> it suits her. Uh, I mean, actually, I quite, I quite like the look of that. But, um... And if she'll, I don't know if she'll like the look of it. But <laughs> I don't care. I don't care, Sarah. You're wearing it. Um... Cool, there we go. Let's give her uh, that crazy new armor. Uh, Dorian. Anything new for you, buddy? Give it the warden helm. Right, black wall. Yeah, that's uh, much better. C 
cool. Let's uh, give him that helm a little bit better. All right, coal. Uh, now, is, is anything going to be better than your current hat, coal? It seems weird giving you a different hat, buddy. I don't like, feel if we should be doing it or not, but... Okay, well, first let's give him that coat. That's better. It's more armor defense. Yeah, I mean... Weird. Oh, Cole, you look like very strange without your hat on, buddy. Never mind. Learn to live with it. Um, right, uh, nothing new for Vivian. Uh, Solus. Ah, I was going to give him the elven armor there. There we go. That's quite smart on him, actually. Um, Barrack, I think we were fine on everything. And Bull surely is all right as he is. Ah, okay, that one's actually a little bit better for him. There we go. Oh, wow, you're actually wearing a shirt for a change, Bull. <laughs> well, I mean, plate armor. It's not just like, oh, look at my rippling muscles. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's uh, everyone geared up. I just wanted to check so I can sell all this crap. Um, I want to sell anything that could be, like, reasonably useful. Not really into life ward amulets. Cool. There we go. That's all our inventory. Um, we did we did place our plants. We've got our uh, perk. Nothing else for us for to to do here. Um, next thing we want to do. Last thing we want to do. Uh, we've got a random quest here in the hinterlands to bring some philandris to the tree on the hill. We've had that for ages. Let's quickly do that before I uh head out. Um, I don't know who we need with us. Probably no one. To Special at like this, just for this. Um, let me do this, yeah. And then I'll uh, take that quick break and make coffee. Uh, and then I think the net rather than just go to a brand new place, I want to go back to the storm coast. We now have access to the other half of the map we couldn't get to. I don't think it's a half, I think it's like about a quarter of the, what we've already done. Um, where some uh, red templars were hanging out, and I think there's a bunch of red lyrium in there, so um. We'll uh, leave um, we'll uh, leave Sarah behind and take Varric with us because obviously he's, he cares about that. He wants to be there when we do that. Loading times. Can't remember exactly where I was. I think it was up here and uh, around to the west a little bit.
I mean, I could even go out and wait to get some Blood Lotus. I think actually Blood Lotus is also uh, on the Storm Coast, isn't it? So, I don't need to worry about it too much. Yes, tw 12 healing potions. My God, finally. <laughs> Here we go. Place Philandris. And fight a, a demon. Oh. It insta died. <laughs> Got melted. Is that is that the quest done? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um Ah, yeah, login stand. There we go. Ah, another one. And a quarry. Ah, uh, did I just miss those? And also another lo another logging stand. This is just does it mark the ones that you've already gotten? I don't know. Let me find out quickly. Oh my god, I got a piece so bad. It's fine though. I want to tidy up those little bits before we get underway properly. Oh, God, excuse me. We cannot allow the Red Templars to maintain a foothold here. Did you hear about Haven? Just rumours. I have a feeling most of them are true. Don't ask that guy. Talk to us. We're right here. <laughs> uh. All right, okay, let me... Um... Oh, that's annoying. I can't even get around that way. Um... Yeah, let's try going on the other way. Ah, okay. Well, that answers that question then, I feel. Because it's taking it off the map, hasn't it? Cool. Okay. Very well. Um, so let's head here. We'll switch Varric in. We'll run over and... Uh, get the, uh, the other hey, two things here. Uh... There you go, change your party. I've got to sit this one out, Sarah. Um, so, let's take Dorian with us for a little bit. Get some banter between Varric and uh, Dorian. Uh, there we go, guys. I'm going to be three minutes. I'll be back as quick as I can. Oh, probably disconnected. But damn. Boom. One sec.
for this. <laughs> Cop, how's it going, buddy? I hope you're well. Uh, thank you for his bitties. How you doing, sir? Um, yeah, excellent on my end. God, you... <laughs> That's, uh, you always seem to come in, Cop, when I'm not here. But uh, I'm here now. Um, he's uh, yeah, I think he's uh, I think he's busy working in a minute. How you doing, Coptimus? Uh, thank you, thank you, Squidge. Um, uh, can I sit here? Not there. <laughs> uh sean thank you for the follow of course you can sit here welcome in my friend uh we have not found the age of the dragons or their origins yet we're still we're still searching yo songbird how you doing welcome in um <laughs> thank you lee F hole four bless you lee i appreciate that uh you're all coming in so hello hello coptimus hello songbird hello lee Thank you very much for the uh, resub, Lee, and welcome in, Sean. How you doing, folks? Good time in there. Apart from Cop, who's just like, oh, I'll come in when it is on a break now. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> how, are you, how you doing, folks? How did you, um... Lee, how did you get on with the, the rest of Doom? Did you, uh, thy flesh consume? Did you complete it? So it, I find it's like to be tougher of the, the four episodes. But anyway, welcome in, folks. Um... I hope you're well. Let me just take a little uh, sip of this. It's too hot in a minute to probably drink, but. One little taste. Oh, oh, that tastes awful. Oh, wow, that tastes like really awful. Um, no wonder my mum gave me those. Oh, God, it does. <laughs> I feel like I should drink it. I need to put a little sweet in it. Um, I'll be right back. It's, uh,. My mum had some, uh, like, leftover, uh, like, ready-made coffee sachets, uh, where it's, like, it's, like, got powdered milk in it, and it's, like, just one sachet. There you go, white coffee. It tastes kind of gross, but, um, and it's out of date. I don't know that would matter. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should drink it, though, Squidge, so it's not wasted. Uh, let me just go and chuck a sweetener in it, at least. I'll be right back. One second. Chug it. Chug it, cop. It's 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 boiling water, sir. Ease up, son. God. Seven, how you doing? Uh <laughs> uh yes, yeah, sure. Sorry, let me uh Sean. Welcome in. My name is Isnib. You can call me Iz. Everybody does. Um are you a fan of Dragon Age? Inquisition, probably. Come in. We're um we've still got uh like another th over three hours of day stream. We're quite fairly deep into the game. But you know, actually, if you're familiar with the game, you know there's a, a lot more to it. So yes, I put two. I put. Two, I usually have one sweetener in my coffee, I've, and one took the edge off. I put a second one in, and it actually tastes not too bad now. I don't think it's even the fact that it's like over a year out of date. I think it's just because it's like got powdered milk in it, and it's like. Um. But anyway, 
Um, a sex. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I'll take that, Lee. It, uh, to be, you know, you, you're not the first that's ever said that, Lee. And hopefully you're not the last. But, you know, I'm not like so, you know, you know how some people are like, they're sexy and they know they are. That's, no, that's never a good look, is it? Um, ah, ah you, Sean, you just finished Origins for the first time. Yeah, we played Origins and 2 relatively recently on this channel. And, uh... Here we are deep on into uh inquisition we are we're just in the storm coast at the minute we are about to head into the red lyrium place with the red templars that just opened up but uh i know we just recently got the perk where it shows you the where the uh um quarries and login points are i just obviously i've just missed that quarry and we do actually need those for a couple of upgrades so i'm just going to run over there and get that quickly uh run i could probably pull out a horse i, I reckon Probably a bit quicker. Maybe. I don't really use the horse for the most part. She comes to like getting battles and things, but maybe for this, on this instance. This might uh not be tail well. Just go through it. There we go, that's how we go quest. Come on, horse. Can you jump? Oh the horse can jump, excellent. There you go, look, red bloody Templars. I'm, like, well, I'm just going to ride by them, I guess. There we go. I like they totally turn invisible. Oh, they knocked us off the horse. Oh, my God. Don't worry about those idiots there, guys. Disengage. And there's some more. Yeah. Whatever. Here we go. Long river. That's what I'm looking for. We just run down to the end of this. Um. So, uh, Sean, yeah. G the general consensus I feel of the Dragon Age fandom is that two is the weakest of the trilogy. However, um, one, I have viewers, regulars, who are fans of the Dragon Age, who some of them not only say it's not the weakest. I've I've got a few people here who say it's their favourite. It's the the best. Um, if I had to give an honest assessment myself, my own opinion, I would say that I agree that it is the weakest, but we're talking about small degrees. I would say if you enjoy Inquisition and you enjoy Origins, go for, go, you know, give it a go. Go for, uh, um, go for a Dragon Age 2 at some point in the future. Um, I wouldn't pay full price for it. Wait to see if you can get it on like a deal or you buy a second hand a physical copy or something. Um that'd be my advice. Def if you enjoy if you enjoy Origins and Inquisition, you there's no reason you won't enjoy two. I feel. Worth definitely worth playing. Um Exactly, exactly seven. Seven summed up perfectly. Because of course she did. How are you doing today, Seven? Are you well? I hope you are, my dear. Um, yeah, it, yeah, invisible. Yeah, we have we got some random ring that uh, ran, you know, not randomly. I think it's when they were in combat, but not attacking. So I don't know why it's still activated at the minute. We are invisible. I don't know how much difference it makes. There we go. I mean, now we did a thing. Now we're not invisible. And now next time we come across enemies, we'll be invisible again. Anyway, let's. Fast travel back to that camp. Just to the west is a login point I missed. And then we can head northwest into the caves and uh, smash up some uh, some uh, red Templars. Um, right, somewhere down there. Uh, yeah, you know what happens with rings that make you invisible. It, but generally best to not stay away from them. Especially if you've got creepy guys coming after you being like, my precious. You're like, uh, nah, then maybe I should ditch this. Yeet it into a volcano, maybe. Um, but no, I think, I think we should be alright, uh, cop. Honestly, the effect isn't that useful. It's a bit strange and awkward sometimes. But, um, 
the other stats of it help our mage out a lot. So I might switch it out if we find some um, other, you know, another ring that's more appropriate. But for now, we occasionally turn invisible. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there you go. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you all for being here today. Um, it was nice when you get a bunch of people just arrive at the same time. I was like, what are, you, what are you guys up to? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> going to the corner store, what you got to get, Seven? Anything good? The Red Templars have dug in here. I'm certain King Alistair would appreciate having them removed from Ferelden's shores. Maybe. Uh, um, yeah, I'm sure he would. Yeah, Sean, you're absolutely right. Uh, what areas have we done uh, recently? So the Hinterlands, not too bad. Uh, Crestwood, I found a very reasonable area. Uh, and Fallow Mire, uh, you know, apart from walking in the water and the zombies constantly attacking you, very straightforward. Uh, Storm Coast, not too bad overall, but my god, we've just been around Empery de Leon, which is not too bad, but it's not great. And the Exalted freaking Plains. <sighs> yeah, they could have definitely. Even if it's not the, the design of the actual maps. But ha the actual map that you look at was a bit more clear on where you should, where you could or should go. <sighs> yeah, it's um, it can be awkward to say the least. Oh, hello. No offense to Bull, but I think I prefer having a mage. I like having like a one tank and three ranged attackers just stood back doing their thing. Honestly. We might take Bull to go and fight the dragons, but I think we might retire him for a little bit. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Um... How do we actually get across here? Oh, unless we've got to do um, we've got to do an operation to repair this bridge. Unless we can just, I don't think there's something like we could go in that water there. That's a little bit too deep, I reckon. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. Thank God for instant teleportation. Um, how the bloody hell to actually get over there then usually it pops up when there's like um an operation to uh ah here we go silly me silly me this and say if it would be an operation they would it would usually pop up with a little message saying so open your eyes is god i do um we make these things tricky sometimes <laughs> oh here we go here they are oi who are you guys? It's just circle something that Dorian's putting down. I don't know. Honestly. Um, who did I romance in Origins, Sean? So uh, I'm, t I'm terrible and some of these guys here are like, oh my god, calm yourself. Is I'm a just an in incorrigible flirt, um, basically, Sean. So I'm, uh, I, I take every single opportunity of a romance option I take. And then we just see where the that takes us. Um, what, what that take took us to in Origins was we uh, got to, uh, you know, we got to shag, uh, shag. Sorry, <laughs> reckon I saw it. Um, we uh, we had sexy times with Zevran, and he was very much like, oh yeah, this is great. We had sexy times with Alistair, and Alistair was like, I love you, and I'm like, calm yourself, son. He's like, but I love you. Uh, and then we also had a little kiss with Leliana, 
but Eliana was like, Oh, I heard about you and Severin. I was like, okay. I had a word with Severin. Sorry, I'm going to break you off just for a little bit because, you know, Lel. Lel was like, oh. So, you've left Severin, but I, I heard about you and Alistair. I was like, for fuck's sake, Leliana. So, she wasn't like, oh, I'm in love with you. But um, she was like, you know, Alistair was like the whipped little puppy. He was like, do you like me? Please like me. I don't even care about the other bits on the side. I just want you to like me. And Zevran, obviously embodying that spirit of, hey, party time, uh, <laughs> which is what I was kind of going for. Um, uh, Morrigan was just like, no, no, no way. And apparently, I think that's probably just primarily because we had um, a female character. Um, I think it's been mentioned to me law-wise that Morrigan is bisexual, but spoiler alert, I'm not, you know, or I won't allude to it with the story. Uh, in Origins, there's a very specific reason why Morrigan is only into male characters. Let's just leave it at that, I guess. Um, oh my god, Lee. <laughs> you know me, Lee. Uh, so that's kind of how it went. That's how it went. Um, in in uh, in Inquisition, Sean, we've made passes at every single character. Um, some of them have kind of reciprocated, reciprocated, but none of our conversations have got gone so far that anything has really like strongly been suggested um, to do anything. I think the closest has been Blackwall. Actually, I think I've literally said to Blackwall. Uh, yo, get in my quarters, bitch. And he's like, what? No, I can't do that. I really want to do that, but I can't do that. But if you keep asking me, I might do that. But I can't do that. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I might be a little bit behind on some dialogue options, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, you had to go for Morrigan. Yeah, if I had to choose one, I would... Yeah, Morrigan was my favourite, I feel, of the first game. But it's just, you know, that's just the way things work out. Um, right, so we're in there. Okay, we're heading this way. Go to this door. Red Templar key required. Okay. So I think if we go back up here, there's, uh, on this upper balcony here, we can uh, head around this direction. Um If you were still a seeker, would you drag me to one of your circles? I am not still a seeker. But you'd do it, even though I'm incredibly charming. Yes. I yep. would absolutely drag you there, without question. Oh. <sighs> you say that, Cassandra, I might stop you though. Because that's the thing, Cassandra. I'm also an apostate. Would you drag me there? I'd, I'd slap you. Cut the shizzle out of you. So, uh, Sean, what, uh, what, what, uh, in Origins, what, um, oh, jeez, what, uh, class and, uh, origin story did you take? I'm right, going to pick that up. All these invisible people hanging around. I'm not going to have to pick things up. Um, it's quite painful, was it, Scotty? Uh, you're not, you're not into that. Getting a little bit twisted up. I don't know. I think it could be, it could be fun. To, I, never, I never meant to hurt you. You're your nether regions there, Scotty. I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, no, Sean, she is a bit. In in Lel, in Origins, he's like, Ooh, yes, shoes, bardadry, uh, the maker. I love Many the maker. Of these red Templars were good men and women once. And it... A shame to see them corrupted beyond recognition. Indeed, Cassandra. So let's put them out of mystery. But uh, Lel, in this game, is like... Yes, I'm a merciless assassin, and, um, you know, I've got to just kill everybody. You're like, oh, okay. She feels she's sexually frustrated, Seven. Um, 
I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. Unfortunately, there's no option to help her with that, I don't think. I don't think there's any, uh, I don't think you can romance Lel in this game. And, uh, even if there's an option, I think she kind of just doesn't really pay attention to it. Uh, let me have a look at that armor for, uh, Sarah there. Idiot, I was supposed to switch Varrican, wasn't I? Because we're going to... God damn it, I'm, I swear I'm practically a genius. Um... Sorry about this, folks. I need Varric in the party. I thought I thought I was supposed to switch him in. I just wasn't paying enough attention. Um, yeah, romancing, romancing Cassandra. You know, yes, it's hard to not like Cassandra. I would say. Okay, I need to actually... Um, there we go. I swear I'll switch Varrican. I don't know. Not paying enough attention. Sorry about this, folks. Um. Yeah, exactly, Scotty. Oh, excellent. Yeah, cool. You went uh, warrior, Sean. Yeah, we went um, noble, human, female, because that's what the viewers want, went for. Um, and we went uh, rogue. I've got this weird OCD where... Look, if I did, like, the new playthroughs right now, but if it's, then it'd be different. But if I'm, um, doing play... Oh, my, this coffee is really not very pleasant. Thankfully, there's not too much left more of it. I'll have a chunk my way through it, I guess. Um, I like to play Rogue in Origins, Warrior in, um... Ah, that's the Red Templar key. Okay. Um... Warrior in Dragon Age 2 and Mage in Inquisitions. It's just personal preference. So I should probably change it up if I play again in the future, but... Who knows? We shall see. Um... That's the bridge. So I'm playing to one end at the minute. Here we go. All right through this way. All right, it's, 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 it, it tastes strangely funky. Like I say, I think it's just the powdered milk in it, which is not like. I know it's bad for you. It's just it's not like the most um, tasty, is it? Okay, here we go. We're heading through this way. We've still got that key down there below us, but we'll um, head this way to start with. No, yeah, yeah, Sean, yes. Uh, Sarah's, like, you know, completely gay. She's, like, only to ladies, which is I mean, it's fair enough. Dwarven war axe. Mm, not quite as good. Uh, look at the size of this barrel. Damn. Okay, this one's left gold everywhere. This is a like, little treasure room. I will take it. I won't go to waste. Um... Can you blame her? No, I mean, you know, I I try not to discriminate, uh, Sween, but you know, it's, um, you know, that's the thing, you don't choose your preferences, do you? You don't tr choose what you're attracted to, you just, that's what it's called a feeling, <laughs> you should, yeah, you should feel it, um, hello? Yes, it's good. so being an invisible copy, that's this weird effect where the enemies aren't aware of you. But then it's like your party members don't like f stick with you and follow you because they're not aware with, of you. But they're just chilling up here. Now if I uh, start attacking them. Which I guess I better do. Ah! 
they'll uh, come and join in. So it's a bit. It's a bit weird and. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward ability. I don't really fully get the benefit of it, but. Cass is doing this, right? I don't know. Noble Rogue, excellent. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I wonder. I, I expect Rogue plays pretty well in this. Not this is a bad thing, but. Do you, know, you like a back? Um, I feel almost like there's. Um... Mm -hmm, okay. Um, there's also been, like, too, almost like too many characters in Inquisition. Like, every role is filled. It's good to have options, but I feel like you don't necessarily get to spend enough time with it, like, everyone. But, I don't know, it's... It's what it is. Like, you've got more rogues than you need, you've got more warriors than you need, you've got more majors than you need, and then you've got yourself, which is going to be any one of those of your choice. So it's like, eh. You know, so if you play a rogue, you're like, okay, so we don't need Sarah, uh, we don't need Varric, uh, we don't need Cole. They're all surplus to requirement. And you're like, okay, well, I'm not sure if that's how I feel about that, you know. Obviously, you can, you can rock uh, two rogues in your party, can't you, if you want, but... Right, yeah, so I've never played... Sean, I've never played Mass Effect, but it is on my list. I'm uh, a bit excited to check it out one day, just... Just the way it worked out, though. I got into Dragon Age, but not uh, not Mass Effect. See my uh, oh, they're right there. Okay. okay. Yeah. See how I'm attacking. My barrier is just replenishing itself. That's insane. We'll see if I'm getting a... Uh... If I'm getting slapped around, it's not. Like someone's lying on the floor, but... There may yet be stragglers, but we've dashed whatever plans they might have had. Good. Rowboat. But do you really want to row on that sea right there? Oh, I guess we, we are. <laughs> Um, what do we expect to find here? Even more than uh, Dragon Age. Uh, oh, where are we? Oh, oh, new section of the map. I bet I know what's over here. I bet this this is a place where a dragon hangs out. So you'll run away like scared little girls. If uh, sorry, scared little girls. That's that's very sexist. I shouldn't. I do apologize for that. Um, yeah, let's grab that blood lotus. Uh. Yeah, I think it is. I'm gonna poke my head up there, and then we'll uh, then we will run away, like scared big boys. There you go. Does that balance it out? Uh, <laughs> probably kill the, uh, the its kids first on the way. Remembered Cassandra, valiant yet sexy rebel against the status quo. Yeah. I don't have any control over how I'll be remembered. Sword raised high, blue scarf dramatically fluttering in the wind, sun rising behind you. Blue scarf? Why would I be wearing such a thing? No. It's a painting, of course. Work with me; it'll be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Stay alert. We're in the beast's territory now. Indeed. Who 
Who knows, I might be able to take this dragon now. I don't know. Maybe we could just give it a go. I imagine it would just actually just kick our asses, but... Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Okay, cool. Cool, very cool, uh, Sean. I assume... Have you played Andromeda? That's just like more after the fact, isn't it? I assume. Cool. Yeah, I like the idea. It's like one continuous long story. Not uh, not against that. I don't think we'll be able to do it, but let's give it a go. Um, I don't want to you know, reload our save if we can't manage it. It's a uh, Vinsoma. Oh my god. Okay, it's um, it's lightning element. Okay, yeah, I probably want to stay out of his breath there. Oof. Dorian, oh my god. Where where is he? Where is he? Um. That's his body there, isn't it? Bless him. Uh, don't... I think he just got unlucky there. Let's get behind it and let... Um, let Cassandra do the tanking, yeah? How about that? How about we go... How about we do a bit of that? Oh, we got... We had uh, AOEs on us here. Are we supposed to be stacking or are we supposed to be... Uh, Oh jeez. Oh jeez. There's freaking mechanics in this fight. What well, mechanics? I don't need mechanics. <laughs> I mean as it stands at the minute, we are barely doing any damage to this fella. Only chunking its armor down. Okay, it looks like Cass has at least kind of got its attention now. And it's not uh, slapping her around at all. Okay. We've removed its armor and its hit points are not moving at all. Um, I assume that this effect is a spread attack. I want to uh, stay away as much as possible. Yeah, you want to heal yourself, Varric. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm... Um... I think we'll come back to this boy later, honestly. <laughs> Um, oh, there's that one there, wasn't it? Um, I think that might be not the weakest dragon, but one of the weaker dragons. Yeah, music, we're running away. So, um, 
I'm not sure if I can drink those coffee sachets. I, I appreciate the thought, ma'am, but they taste like ass. Not in a good way. Yeah, it's not. I wish you could all have a little sample of it to see how bad it tastes. Not good. Um, yo, Root! Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to re have a little think. I was just, um, it's just as we were there. And we could definitely do with getting, like, a few more levels. But, um, let's, um, let's head back to where we came for now. No, I should, I, I'm... I've got like my part of my uh, OCD mentality uh squidges like not wanting to be wasteful of anything even if it means like using stuff which is like not even like necessarily good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So basically she um my mum retired like uh just um not even a, a year ago and uh she said when you know she had them like f for at work basically and she uh was, she said she forgot about them and she's like oh yeah i found these the other day i was tidying up um to uh they're out of date but do you want them and i, I should have realized then it's like oh yeah don't you want them <laughs> i was like yeah free stuff i'm a charity case yeah i'll take those um yeah it tastes real nasty <laughs> honestly so yeah i've, I've like i said I, I don't like being wasteful at all in any way shape or form squidge um whether it's like food or you know any kind of resources money you name it whatever it may be but if something actually tastes bad well, I've, I've tasted worse things but i mean it's not you know, it doesn't even have to be like, oh, yummy. Oh, that's so yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Just if I'm like tasting it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Bleh. it's not, it's not nice. I think I might have to just throw them out. I don't know. I don't think it's just me. Um, but yeah, how was your, how was your meeting route? Was it, uh, was it good, productive, useful? Yeah, no, it's not, it's really not nice, Squidge. I'd send you one, but then I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to inflict it on you. <laughs> uh, is that the door? I think that was the door, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Which is just the other side of this bridge here. So okay, so it's to destroy that red lyrium. Okay. I'm presuming that's it, and hit that. Okay. Right, okay, so, um... Okay, that's taken all that care of. So, we've still got to deal with the dragon over there in this area, but... Right, okay, we need to make a decision. Right, okay, so in the Hinnet lands, there's still Red Lyrium. And a landmark to be discovered. Ah, of course. That's where the other dragon is. Uh, <laughs> uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, other options. We'll come back to that. Uh, I don't think there's a dragon in the Fallow Mire. We know there's one in Crestwood. And that actually might be the, the lowest level dragon in the game. I don't know. I'm probably just telling myself that. Uh, we've got the three Chonky Boy dragons there. So uh, we've got a choice. Um, Temporary De Leon Fade Rift. So there and that's another dragon area that's uh cutting us off ah here we go this is what i wanted to check quarry i wanted to pick that up um i'm double checking there's nothing not on none of the other areas and you go quarries or logging stands on this so it doesn't look like it there, is there in the storm coast um aha yeah we've got one the quarry there in Crestwood. Okay. I should probably just do this as we're... Uh, as I'm finding them, honestly. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go quickly make sure I've tidied up these little bits and pieces. Um, yeah. Where's Waldo? Law? This Law? The Waldo verse. Let it get on so much again, Tasta. <laughs> uh, I, had, uh, I admire your honesty. Um, replacing characters in Top Gun with the Muppets. Wow. I, it sounds like you have a lot of fun at your work. Um, that's what it sounds like to me, Root. Uh, and I'm not that I'm jelly because um, this is my work. So there's nothing I'd rather be doing. But, uh, you know, compared to other jobs I've had. Definitely. Excellent. That's so, I feel that's like such an important thing. You have to... Whatever you do for a living or whatever you, you know, at least spend your time doing, you have to, I feel, um, either, like, enjoy it or be, like, just be passionate about it. Or there has, there has to be something, some kind of level of engagement. You, you kind of have to want to like be doing it i think i don't know i feel like it's too much to ask people to you know be like yo yeah i'll 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 uh i'll commit to having my soul destroyed that's that's too much <laughs> i've done those jobs oh my god but yeah root that's like that's such a cool thing so the worst thing is like anyone who's got to do job that they like just hate they just really hate and they're just doing it for the sake of survival and it's not to say that every single day you're like you know doing uh exactly what you want to be doing every single moment but still that's um i'm glad i'm glad you've got a job like that Alright, if we go in fact if we go around and collect these, we may even be able to get uh, a couple of upgrades for Skyhold. Okay, random baddies. Bandits. Yeah, we're just don't mind us, we're just passing through, buddy. There you go. That seems to work. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, you're Canadian. Okay. See you later then, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we stumbled across this. I just obviously didn't collect it. I think we were even here. I was like, oh, look, it's a quarry. Without realising it's a quarry for us to actually <laughs> claim. Um, wow. That's canon law. That's kind of weird <laughs> that they would go to that effort and make him like kind of a bit sleazy can you, yeah can you imagine then you like you're in a relationship with someone they have a pet the relationship break you know breaks apart and then you end up just taking their pet how how would wilma agree to that i'm sure she wouldn't have agreed to that and then you're like after the fact you're like Yo, so, yeah, your twin sister, Wilma, she's all right. Is she single? So, what? Old day, what? It sounds like a bit of an idiot. Um, uh, what Muppets? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I don't even know that, that many uh, of the Muppets, honestly. It's like, um, but... I don't know. Yeah, like, I mean, you've got, um... I can't even name some of the Muppets. So if you've got Kermit, Miss Piggy. Uh, is Fozzie Bear? Is he one of them? See, now I'm like, I'm like, oh. I don't know, maybe this is, um... This could just be me, though, Root. I don't know. It's really, like, a cultural thing. I don't know, but... Ah, look, there's a... Another bloody login stand over there, back in the hinterlands. I swear to God. Okay, cool. Let's go get that then. 
Okay, it's not too far away from that uh from that campsite there. How interesting that Waldo, where's Waldo, has law. No, it's just the way he is now. <laughs> I love those books. As you are aware, he's called Wally over here, but um, I love those books as um, a kid. It was just like so fascinating to uh, to like have like a, such a large like picture with like so much little, so many like little details. You just like look at it for like an hour. Just looking at all the strange little details. Fascinating. Okay, we're just heading south away. In fact, we can uh, probably drop uh, Varric from the party now. Get Sarah back in. I feel like she's a, a little bit better than Varric. Here we go. Nice. All right, okay, let's look at the fallow mire. Surely there's nothing here. Nah. Nah, it's just an awful place. Um... Right, okay. So we... Oh, that's the, the temple we've done. Um, so we've got a choice. We can go to the Emerald Graves. There's some uh, red lyrium deposit there. Okay. The Hissing Wastes, which sounds awful. Or the Western Approach, where we have to kind of meet uh, with, uh, with Hawk and Stroud for one uh, thread of the main quest. Um, there's also like uh, some of um, Blackwall's uh, things there. Um, let's go do that. The Western Approach. Let's check that out. Let's see what hardness is about. Yeah, I believe the Emerald Graves squids are going to be a very like foresty. I don't know if they've mentioned too much about it, but we shall, we shall find out soon. Now, the Western Approach is not only nearby the Hissing Wastes, it's also... Oh, well, we know that what that's about specifically, but it's also near the uh, the uh, Forbidden Oasis. So, it's, I expect, and looking at that artwork there, I expect it's going to be quite rocky and or deserty. Yeah, I mean, if we get to the Emerald Graves and it's like, I don't, you don't see a tree anywhere, I'll be a, <laughs> I'll be a little bit concerned, Squidge. I'll be like, what's, what's, what's going on here? Welcome to the Western Approach. We've sighted warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. Dragon. In short, Not this might just dragon. be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. This may be... <laughs> The worst place in the entire world. I mean... Well, it's good to know what I'm in for. Sorry, I don't have more for you. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh... Persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just... Feels like something's not right. Be careful. Okay. Now, um, okay, looks like we're, uh, at least judging by the markers there, looks like we are on the eastern edge of, uh, the area. So, I just want to check Red Lyrian. Okay, so we want to, and more. So, well, I don't know why you're saying, like, 11 out of 12, if it's, there's multiple deposits around. 
Right, so we want uh, Varric for the Red Lyrium, and we want Blackwall in the party for um, uh, for the Grey Warden stuff. So let's... Um... Right, so I guess we'll take Sandra, Blackwall, and Varric. No, it's got any new requisitions. Ah, the courtyard upgrade for Skyhold. It's interesting we could do it here. So you get a choice there, I think it said. But yeah, main watchtower, we need, we need some more quarries. And the garden, we just need more blood lotus. Okay. Uh, let's see what the other requisition area is. Inquisitor, I've something for you. Yes. What is it? You may want to look into this. And it is. Let's see what it was there. Heavy coats. Great bet. Oh, that's not something else we were working on, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh. Ah, Western Approach Geological Survey. I'll do it once just to uh, kind of, you know, tick it off the list. Well, I'm not going to rinse all our uh, materials on just getting more power. We don't really need power, do you know what I mean? Nah, I don't know if we want to look into this. Right, okay, let's um get to it. Hopefully it's not uh too dry and dusty. Well, actually, I don't mind how dry and dusty it is. I hope it's not too much of a pain in the ass to get around <laughs> on some of the areas. <laughs> we shall see. Um, anyway, let's just head this way, I think. Got Fade Rift right there. Two there. I can't uh can't really make this out. I think it is. I'm just gonna go from there and hope for the best. There we go. I think it's just a weird angle there. Okay, so um, the vibe I get from doing the single fade rift here is that it seems to be at least somewhat of a lower level than Empire de Leon. Maybe on par with the uh, Exalted Plains. Maybe a bit higher, maybe not, I don't know. But um, definitely a, uh, a lower level than... Uh, in Prix de Leon, I feel. This is just like a very easy, uh... What are these even doing here? This is bad. Uh, it's not good, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't want to speak too soon. We never know what's what's what, but we shall see. A little fennec fox there. We'll find too much food out here, buddy. More carts and dead bodies. 
That's not good. Oh, there's a marker. Eh? Package label, property of Frederick of Soralt, uh, University of Orlay, Nazir's past research camp. These supplies were intended for someone out in this desert. Stolen, perhaps? What happens here? Nobody should be out here but Grey Wardens. Something's very wrong. Red Lyrium, of well, course. Here are the missing owners of those carts. Alright, my sick piece. Uh you get the temple asked whatever they want. No questions asked. Stop asking. They want refugees and travelers. We get them. Okay. I see. Wait, it's always red Templars, isn't it? I don't know if this Paragon's luster is, but there's uh, plenty of it around. Ah, stamina around me, look. Nice. This is their weird, let's turn people into, let's infuse people with red lyrium machine, by the looks of it. Which is, uh... Oh, ghoul's beard. Nice. We've been after ghoul's beards for a little while. i grab hold of the bloody thing. Um, hmm. Cool. Dinner. Okay. Little entrance. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's because we're like, oh, we're just, uh, oh. Hey, buddy, you want some red lyrium? Oh, okay. Holds that arm for a, a jab. No, no, get strapped in the rack. <laughs> Is that... Really? Is that necessary? Some would say yes. It's a little extreme, but a Templars. What are you gonna do? Yeah, look at these spiders just chilling. Just kind of wreck their day. Responsible. I 
can't uh I can't argue with you, Cassandra. <laughs> they certainly can be. They certainly can be, Root. Okay, that's a fancy uh shield there, maybe. Oh no, no, they've both got much better shields than uh that, haven't they? Because they have. Um Yeah, it seems like over the series, I feel that the, um, in terms of Templars and Mages, I do feel that generally there are some Mages who are idiots and power hungry, but most Mages are just trying to get along and are oppressed. Um, and the Templars, yes, there are some naive Templars who are like, oh, yeah, we got our this is for the best. Let's do this. But there's, I feel, majority of them are overzealous, crazy people who, you know, just are power hungry. And they just want to lord some power over someone. If it wasn't the majors, it'd be somebody else, you know. Which is, um, unfortunate. You know, there are, of course, there's many exceptions to, uh, that rule on both sides. But, all in all, unfortunately, I feel that's how it is. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because in, that's the thing, it is, in theory, it makes sense. It's like, oh, magic exists. Okay. Magic can be dangerous. It can be very dangerous in and of itself. And if you can't control it, it could be possessed by a demon. Okay, that's not good. So we should set something up to try to mitigate that risk. Okay, makes sense. It's a noble thought, but then it gets all weirdly bastardized. You know what I mean? I don't know. Right, okay, so we've came through here and we've gone all the way through to here. Okay. Now I'm probably gonna okay, if we I'm gonna go through the cave again, but we'll um we'll hang a left, I think. And uh let's see if we can't get around the other way. I think there's like at least something we missed around there. Dog, we are just passing through. Oh, look at this big boy. How many times are we completing this quest? symbol out here. Odd. Hmm. Very odd. So, uh, were we supposed to just, uh... Oh. Oh! Thankfully, he flew the other way. <laughs> yeah, still not uh, quite ready for dragons. Oh! Oh! Don't you love it when uh, your Xbox game just yeets itself? Um, does that sometimes, doesn't it? Well, not often, I find, but it's it's done that to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very well, so let's get on there. Okay. <sighs> We might not have had a, a save point since the, uh, since we entered the area, which would be rather annoying. Uh, we'll try again. Um, yeah, Sean, it's a bit too much sand for me, definitely. I'm not like someone who even likes going to the beach. Um, it might, do you reckon, Rue? I do hope so. Not whether they're there for very long, but I'm not. I, you know, I don't mind spending like an hour and a half uh, doing something that... Well, hours doing something I'm working towards, but you make me repeat like five, ten minutes or something I've just done. I'm like... <sighs> not... Not happy about it. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was like... It was maybe just for a second it was too much for it with the dragon turning up and... It seems to be catching up on ticking off some quests. 
So no, I don't know. It's not going to stop us. We can get back to it. Would you look at that? Good call, right? Good call. Yeah, big scary dragon. We're not gonna, we're not gonna mess around with him at the minute. We're just gonna li leave him. We'll catch up with him later. Yeah, that's far more robust than I thought it was going to be. Good call, right? E. This is ours now. So you know. Okay, cool. So this is like we're basically back where we were. I thought there was like another um, random exclamation mark I, was, I saw here, but maybe there doesn't seem to be now. I'm looking, stand just next to the camp. Okay, we don't want to worry about it. We'll uh, just uh, I'm just keep heading around to the west and. Turn to the south if if possible. Is this it? The trail leads on. Okay. Maybe that was it, I don't know. Unless that was another one of those chantry stones. So you only had to find one. And then the other exclamation mark disappeared. I don't know. Um Yeah, it's it's far it's done far it's it's quite nice and dramatic as the dragons appear. Right, and these little th little boys. No, yay, yay, nay. Everyone follow us. No. Okay, now it's after the fennec. Okay. Come on, guys. Stop messing around down there. Keep up. I wish there was, um... Like a button you could press to uh, just instantly bring the map up, but... Unfortunately, there is not. How are we doing on time? Okay, we've still got just over two hours, so... I don't know if that's going to be enough to clear out uh, the Western approach, but we're trying to explore and find and do as much as we can in the meantime. We should get a decent amount done in two hours, I would think. Random uh, happy armor and weapon. Okay, so we've got a camp here. Why not? Going on here, the researcher. Visitors, thank the 
Maker. It's been so long since I've spoken to anyone. Oh. Have you come to observe the wildlife too? I think I found your supplies. A dead man out in the desert had these on him. Dead? Blessed Andraste. What about Marcus or Jeanette? This is terrible news. What about them? I, I don't am know. Frédéric of Cerro, foremost researcher of draconology in Orlais. I came here with an expedition from the university. Draconology? The others are all missing, and our work has been halted. White Claw Raiders oh. have made off with much of our supplies. Ryan! How you doing, bro? You equipment, will you not? You will champion the advancement of science. Mm. Uh, I found your supplies. I have the supplies yeah. you were waiting for right here. But oh, some of our equipment is still missing. If you happen to find more of it, please let me know. Are you right out here, buddy? The rest of the own? team went missing, and there are raiders all over the area. Should you be here alone? I don't know what happened to the rest of the expedition, but the raiders have left me completely undisturbed. I have also seen hmm. grey wardens and strangers in odd black clothing. Even Tory. But they all ignore my presence completely. Okay, fair enough. Um, tell me about this place. You're a scholar. What can you tell me about this region? <laughs> the Western Approach is a remarkable place, as you are no doubt aware. Many magnificent creatures make their home here. Vargas, dragons, phoenixes. Phoenixes? They thrive where few others can. The land was poisoned by the second blight. The warden fortress has stood since that time. Before the blight, the ancient Imperium ruled here. Actually, I saw some Tavinters recently, studying the runes. Mm. Uh, tell me about yourself, buddy. Tell me about yourself. I am a professor at the University nice of Nice try, Anne. I have made it my life's something. work to write the definitive down a little monograph bit. on the hunting habits of dragons and their closest kin. Oh. On this trip alone, I have produced 20 scrolls of notes. More scholarship than has ever been done on the southern Vargas. But my hope, my great ambition, is to observe the abyssal high dragon taking her prey. A sight no scholar has ever recorded. Okay, interesting. We'll have to speak some other time. Uh, kindred spirit air squidge. Why would the bandits leave a scholar alone? He's uh, he's obsessed with dragons. But um yeah, I'm glad you uh I'm glad you're doing well, Ryan. This um I heard it was kind of uh not really, I don't know what crazy, I don't know uh what extent it went, but um Okay, we've got some stuff uh up here apparently. Let's see if we can get up this way. Yeah. You are Sean, far too much uh far too much sand for me, for my liking. Ah, ocularum mossy over there. Shimmerstone mine, eh? Who put all this here? Venatori? Or red templars, either way. That's another quarry. Let's uh, claim that here. Ah, uh, oh, fancy looking armor there. I don't. I feel like we've already got better, which is kind of a shame. Um, but 
I guess we can go down here. If we want to. We should, we should have a look at least. No? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I like that you take damage, but you also respawn. Anyway, let's pretend I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> should eat myself off there. Oh, hello. How are you fellas? They don't look like red tempers, and they don't look like Venatori. The name on the manifest is Frederick of Seralt. Didn't we meet him? Yeah, Blackwall. Yeah, like two minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> we did. We did. So these guys just random bandits, I guess. Interesting. Uh, it looks like uh, Cassandra's leveled up, though. That's crazy. Your party's attacks have a 5% chance to weaken targets. All attacks from all party members. Wow. I don't know what the weakened debuff does, but... That's pretty amazing. Um, it wasn't the others, was it? Just Cassandra. I think she's a little head of uh, Blackwall and Varric. Um, okay, so follow the Chantry Trail, but let's um, have a little look in this direction first. Let's get the lay of the land. At least it's nice and open for the most part. It doesn't seem to be uh, too much of an issue in that regard. Yeah, I guess they're just random bandits. Why you'd want to be uh chilling over here? I have no idea. There's better places throughout the empire you could uh you could go and set up shop, no? Right, okay. I've yeah, that looks like this is the edge of the map. If you jump down there a bit. That's not even a thing. No, it's not. I'm sure of it. Heat come off of it.
Another blow to reach you. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that right, Black Hawk? Another blow to reach you. Yeah. yeah. Geese, isn't it? <laughs> Good God. None of this is particularly good. But it's an interesting cave. Let's have a little look. Aha, mosaic piece. Uh, a couple of books. Cool. Oh, what was going on down there? Hmm. What the hell is this? Okay, it's just a random wardrobe. Looks a bit sus to me. Sorry, closet. If anyone's like, what is a wardrobe? Yeah, okay, it's just they're just there. It's not nothing sus, but looks a bit. Um hmm. Well, I suppose it'd be underground. It'd be cool, wouldn't it? I'm not too sure how I feel about having a base underground, but I guess it would work. It would get the job done, so to speak. Oh. All right, fluffy lizard. Immune to, uh, immune to thunder, seemingly. Ah, that's a Vargast, is it? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, there's ruins and bandits there. That could be interesting, but let's keep heading this way for now. Dusty top four. Okay. Let's look around. Let's. Let's do that. When you crazy kids. Okay, there we go. That's what I was waiting on.
There we go. Not an issue at all. Uh, Mickey. Mickey Liano. I hope we got your pronunciation there. How you doing, Mickey? Welcome in. Uh, yeah, isn't it? It's, we've uh, we recently we were doing yesterday. We were doing um, uh, the exalted planes, and I've i honestly feel it's just like a mess. There's nothing exalted about it, but I guess maybe that's you know maybe it's someone else uh, who's not me named it. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, and then we've uh, done. We just finished up uh, Empire de Leon, uh, which is also very pretty. But my God, it's too mountainous and snow everywhere. But like, look at this. This is um, it's like desolate wilderness, but it's like also like teeming with life. There's uh, it's something something to it. A Grey Warden sword, eh? Good find. There you go. Black Wall's uh, happy about that. I think we just got one more thing for him to find. Also, somewhere in the western approach, and then uh, then it will be done and satisfied, I believe. We got something down here. Something up there. Okay, should have known. But you do, Mickey. I, I assume you're a fan of this game. Welcome in. My name is Isnib. You can call me Is. Most people do. Uh, and yeah, we're having a, a long playthrough of. Uh... Okay, a random ball. Cool. Uh, long playthrough of Inquisition. We've recently played uh, Origins and Two. A lot of fun. Um, and we'll be playing this for the foreseeable future on the channel. Uh, all of next week. I don't stream on uh, Saturday and Sundays. We'll be back to this in full force uh, from uh, Monday. But yeah, we've still got uh, today's stream. We've got about two hours of today's stream left. So uh, feel free to hang around. No, no pressure to do so. Um, your call, obviously. Uh, tuba. Tuba Swan. Ow. How are you doing, Tube? I can't get out there. I don't want to do it. How are you doing, Tubes? You well, sir? I hope you're good, buddy. Can I actually even get through this way? I might be able to, if we go down this way. Oh my god. Cheating myself here. Can we climb up this way? Maybe we can. There we did it. There we got it. We did it. Um, right, okay. This is like the southern uh, section of the western approach. We've kind of covered it all. Um, I'm just going to... I guess maybe we'll make a beeline to that fade rift. Close the that. Return uh, Frederick's supplies. Although, I don't know if we've got all of his supplies. Um, but just to the south, just about there, there's um, what seemed to be another little bandit camp and possibly some ruins to look at. So we'll probably head in that direction, I think. God, yeah, see, um, it's definitely a very impressive landscape. Not sure if I'd want to live here, but it's very impressive nonetheless. Where are they at? Where are they all at? I don't know. It's not going to work. I don't know why I'm even trying. <laughs> yo, kids. Where are they at? Where are they at? <laughs> Attack my target, yo. Maybe. Maybe do that. Can to do that? Oh God, I just left a bit. They're walking like... They're taking the long way around the map, aren't they? <laughs> they just up there, apparently. Get down there, Black Wall. Get down there, Varric. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. There we go. 
Right. Um, might be able to hit these two here. I think I can. There we go. Cool. Yeah, everything's well on my end, tubes. Can't complain. Boom, there we go. Done and done. Nice. Influence. Dude, like it. I don't know. I can't remember if you get enough influence to, um,. Unlock every single perk or not. I don't actually remember. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, so this is our little camp up here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go uh, turn these into Frederick. Um, might need to get some more still, but we'll see. Here it says. After more than 30 days, I have yet to observe the abyssal high dragon in... Yes. Can I assist you? Supplies for you here, buddy? I have the supplies you were waiting for right here. Now that I have my recipes back, I'll be able to concoct a bait the high dragon cannot resist. Oh. I have most of what I need, but I still need to gather quillback intestines and a phoenix's tail feather. Okay, tell me more about dragons. You study dragons. I'd be interested in hearing more about that. Oh, they are fascinating and little understood creatures thought extinct for centuries mm. now they seem to be making a comeback yep. the nevarans wrote extensively on breeding and nesting behavior but high dragon hunting patterns have never been studied i would be most interested if you come across any gurn corpses that might Gun. be victims of dragon attacks okay well, fair enough we'll have to speak some other time welcome back jesh okay so you've uh you've been to the hospital stretch something in your knee i mean maybe i don't know that's the thing with uh hospitals and doctors they um sometimes they're right and you go okay cool yeah cool yeah no worries doc thank you thanks you know thanks for letting me know uh and other times they're actually wrong and they don't know what they're talking about so it's it can be a little bit tricky to judge like um whether it's you know if they you know i feel at first um the first instance should be gone i've got to trust them but um that's the thing of they might know the technical side of things, but you know your own body better than they do. You know, you know how you feel. They can't. That's the thing. You, you. Oh, the bandits fighting some of the Vargas there. Okay, I'll let them get on with it. Um. So I mean, I guess you'll have to. Uh, that seems sus. Follow their advice for now, Jesh, but hopefully it's just by well, the sounds of it, they reckon it's just something that's just gonna heal up. Oh, hello. Ah, this one's a phoenix. Okay. Uh, so it does look a little bit different to the Var guest. Okay, so, I mean, as far as I can tell, this is not actually a thing we can get into. There's no uh, interior of this structure. It's just the remains of something. Apart from that... Which seems sus as all hell, but 
Assuming there's nothing I can really do with it at the moment. Oi. Oi. Yeah, seems to be immune to being shocked, but not immune to the damage. But they have definitely got damage resistance to uh, thunder. Okay. Very well. At least we checked. Right, okay. Back the way we came. We just got a rest, Jesh. Okay, well, I mean... Yeah, that's the thing. At least they nothing... There's no bone or is broken and no ligaments are torn or anything. They should have been able to tell that if... Uh, that were the case. And let's hope they're right, Jesh. And and if they are, it means you've probably got off very lucky, buddy. You know, people have uh, lost legs in similar situations. After more than thirty, return whenever you like. Yeah. Uh, glad of company of a fellow scholar. Uh, I mean, I don't know, a fellow scholar. I'm just gonna um rest and get our potions back briefly. That's we're right next to a camp. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Red Mage. Yeah, the other day, uh Jesh some uh some dude, he uh Jesh was just cycling his bike along the road, some guy in his car just came out an hour and just smashed into him and knocked him off his bike and he's jacked his leg up I was like, ah, that's, that's nice um sleeping genius, hello, how you doing? Uh, is, is my game online? I don't believe it is. Um, I am collect connected to Xbox Live, but I think to be connected to the online service, I think you need to, uh, have, like, an account with them or something with Bioware or EA or whatever. I don't think I have that set up. Um, but yeah, how you doing there, uh, Sleeping Genius? Are you well? Uh, I assume you're a fan of this game. Yeah, it's a problem, Red Mage, isn't it? It's like, what? Now, the guy did stop, but also, like, you know, how about you just don't crash your car into me? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this, this area... Oh, my God. This area is uh, definitely of a lower level than uh, MP de Leon. I feel definitely not really feel like we've had any much of a a challenge on anything so far obviously got to stay away from the uh the high dragon but um according to what frederick was saying it sounds almost like we have to do his little quest to make some bait for it first okay before we head that way i just want to um Get back to the edge of where we were. I don't know if we need to fight these guys. Okay, let me fight those. Unless my guys are going to just get stuck in. Nah. <laughs> right. What's this then? Oh, here we go. It's Hawk and Stroud. Sorry we kept you waiting two months. <laughs> it has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. Yeah, let's hope so. You take point. 
I'll guard your backs. Very well, Hawk. I trust you. Yeah, he stopped and helped him up, Red Mage. But it's like, also, I don't know. I, f I don't know what more you should do, but um. Wait. Jesh, thank you for being here, buddy. You go have a, a, a hopeful, a restful, recovering Morning, weekend. Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Okay, the, the Grey Wardens are murdering each other. To summon demons. And doing blood magic. Okay, good, good, good job, Grey Wardens. Now bind it just as I showed you. Right, yeah, this seems like a good idea. I think we should kill these Grey Wardens. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond of Virantium. At your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. Let's go on. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Oh. Oh, sorry. Have I just disconnected my controller by accident? Sorry about this. Um. Hey, Kinky Ninja. How you doing? Welcome in. How's it going? You well, friend. Uh, yeah, and that's the thing. I don't know. Like, maybe um, maybe he did say that and, like, uh, Jesh was, like, a bit out of it and he was, like, whatever. Why? Sorry about this. My controller's been a bit weird, hasn't it? Um, it's responsive but for some reason my stick's not working yeah look I can put my map and such and I think actually I've, I've just found the shortcut for the map it's on the d-pad uh, yeah left on the d-pad brings your map up so why's my uh, my stick is completely unresponsive yeah, stick, guys. Not I didn't say anything else. Stick. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know. How weird. I wonder when the. I would have got an auto save, I believe. Surely. Hang on. Let me. Um. So I'm getting to the map and I can get into the journal, but I can't get into the uh, the main menu while I'm in that cutscene. I can't even get to the world map. Oh, can we actually just travel out of the... If that's what we want to do. Can we actually... Just... We can't travel while we're in the middle of a cutscene, right? Ah, ah, yeah, it's the warden. Ah, oh, it's the Inquisitor. Yoink. Okay, so now my, stick, my stick's working now. What the? I hope that's not, like, wrecked anything. <laughs> um, We better do a save. I'm sure it'd be fine. I hope I well, no, it shouldn't have. Because that's, like, the main quest, basically. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Uh, weird. I don't know what happened there. Uh, but anyway, I um, I'd never ban you, Red Mage. What are you talking about? Um, oh, I'm Sea Star, Mike, but that's a different thing altogether. Um, but yeah, I, I, thank you for stopping and saying hello. Uh, how are you doing? Are you well? I hope you're well, sir. We've still got the uh, dramatic music. Right, let's claim that as we're passing through. Uh, 
Let's grab that. These should certainly Rank get the dragon's attention. Excellent, okay. Um, okay, let's try that again. And hope that I've not, like, balked the whole thing. I think it'd be weird if I had. I guess it would, it would probably just reset the cutscene. Hopefully. Hey, Hawk. Yeah, okay, buddy. I don't think you're su really supposed to do that, though. That's the only thing, isn't it? Now, hopefully, we'll just... Oh, dear. Sorry, friend. What are you saying? Wonder if we, uh. Yeah? What if we just leave the area? Um. <laughs> Cage! Um. No, thank. My uh, my stick didn't work for a minute there, um, C star, but now it seems to be perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, we got we got an auto save just before there. Let me, um, I want to do a manual save here. And then I'm just going to load that save there. No, this one here. Uh, I don't want, to, I want the, the game to be balked. That would be a problem. Um... Okay, was that when I, uh, that was when I just got up there, wasn't it? Uh, and that's all the way back on the Storm Coast. Oh, was this, wait, was this the first time we came through here? Hang on. No, okay. Meet Hawker, yeah, I'm gonna, let me try this again. Maybe loading the game might have reset it, even if this is after it, I'd, Walked it. Um, I think we fought that thing yet, have we? Is it, uh, it's insisting on it? Okay. Quill back. Ah, there we go. Interesting. Weird creatures. Oh dear, this is, um, uh, this is definitely after I've balked it and loading the game didn't seem to do much for it. So, I've, have I really, am I really looking at I've lost the, an hour of the game that I've uh, been in this whole area? I've got to do the western approach all over again from scratch. Is 
because that would be um that'd be a little frustrating for all of us i feel to say the least um Because my controller was having a weird moment there. Should we look around? Uh, should we look around? <laughs> Still not supposed to do this, is it? Yeah, there's no uh, option to try and talk, engage me in conversation or anything. Fuck. Oh dear. I think we might have. Um, myself some mischief here folks um only thing that i can think to do would be to like completely because tr we try to load but tr completely travel out of the area and uh okay we can't fast travel out the area at the moment and then see if that kind of resets it if not we might have literally wasted an hour of time which is uh yeah kind of frustrating hopefully this fixes it What's uh what's weird west uh ninja? That sounds uh vaguely familiar. Like I might have heard that that term before, that name before. Cowboy RPG. Hmm. Yeah, this sounds I think I'm sure I've heard that name before. Cool. Is it is it new or is it like oh is it like uh, a classic? Interesting. Well, cool. Well, uh, t be sure to tell us how it is. If if you want to, of course, you don't even have to. Uh, interesting. No, it's new. Okay. Cool. Interesting. I'll have to look it up at some point. Right. Here we go. Capture the keep. That's our mission. Back at the Western Approach. Imagine if this doesn't work, and imagine if you'd only had a single save file in the game. You would have broken your whole playthrough. That would be a problem. Um, if this doesn't work, it's going to be a bit of a tragedy. But I will have to essentially replay that extra hour we've just done um, and load up a previous save, which will be a little bit frustrating. Um, but it's not really fair to you guys to do that on stream because you've already done it on stream. So I'll have to, I guess we'll probably maybe pick a different location, start exploring there for the rest of today's stream, and then. then come back and i'll do try and do this over the weekend just this this bottom section of the uh of the map and tidy up that but let's find out i just don't think it's fair to subject you guys to uh the same thing you've just seen like literally just now on stream you know This thing wants to start a fight. Fair enough. Okay, 
Didn't even drop anything. Oh, it did. It just took a second. Yeah, because I need that... Uh, that quill back thing, don't I? Anyway, you guys, I don't want to fight you guys particularly. But they're insistent. Uh, here we go. Thank God for that. You made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. Remember. I'll oh, skip through all this we just seen this moment ago. You are no warden, but you are the one Clarell let slip, and you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Here we go. Uh. Yeah. Let's try and... Uh, let me try and tell these wardens here. Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient... I mean, we're too late. Look at the slate of them. <laughs> That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the wardens think. Wardens, hands up. There you go, completely controlled. Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Winter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into <laughs> deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. How is that a good plan? <laughs> um, yeah, you tricked them. So you manipulated the Wardens to build an army of demons for Corypheus. The Wardens were stupid Just to go so. along with it, though. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. Um. I suppose we should try and get some information out of him. Yeah, he needs to make up his mind, doesn't he, Ninja? Like, is he is he letting it grow wild, or is is he trying to keep it tidy? You know what I mean? It's, um. So Corypheus influenced the wardens and made them do this ritual. <laughs> made them? No. Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons. <laughs> wardens did it of their own. <sighs> City wardens. Fear is a very good motivator. And they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Well, this uh, Commander Clarell made the wrong decision, even if they did agonize over it. Um... That seems obvious. So you kill the old gods. The idea is to stop the blights for evermore. Risk using demons. It seems a stupid Why thing to do. Risk using demons? demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat. Never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across all A. Now they are bound to my master. Okay, what's in it for you, buddy? Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. Ah! As for me, 
While the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. Yeah. Okay, so is it possible for... I don't even know if it's possible for him to release the Wardens now they're bound to these demons, but... Let's try. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. Oh. I'm going to throw over our mark. how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear... The anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil. You stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the fate. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be. Ah! Uh. Is that. Eh, I know how to deal with you. No, you don't. Guess maybe our use of it has made it our own. What's he running off to? Possessed, aren't they? Uh, essentially. The ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the warden warriors? Of course. See, they are uh, ninja. You may have already stepped out on that. Um. Yeah, how could they, how could they seriously do this? Demon summoning. Who looks at this and thinks it's a good idea? The fearful and the foolish. The wardens were wrong. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. No. Yep. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. But it never matters. What's that? In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the wardens are, your worship. Eriman fled in that direction. There's an abandoned warden fortress that way. Adamant. Yeah, go find them, Shroud. These wardens. We cannot let Corypheus gain an army of demons. The warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Oh, farewell, Hawk. 20 gay? What's that highway robbery? That's a bargain. He, he wandered off that way. I don't know how he got around us. <laughs> It's not the point. We've got to deal with him later. How's that a highway robbery cage? It's a bargain. I think the best thing to do is not die, cage. Basically, just think carefully about what you're doing and just don't die. And then there's no issues. Right, okay, so they've, so, wherever the adamant is, I guess it's not part of the, uh, the western approach, it's elsewhere, I don't know, maybe it's its own location, I don't know, um, or maybe it's Emerald Graves or the Hissing Wastes, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's even somewhere we've already been, but just a, an area we've not really been to. But, um, we'll catch up, we'll follow that th thread through. In fact, let me, uh, just see what the journal says. Yeah, speak with the advisors back at the war table. Okay. Worry right about that later. Let's carry on. Right, let me do, let me do a freaking save up in here. Come on, I have to... <laughs> Uh, 
So, so yeah, Cage. Well, I guess we'll just we can discuss this when we uh when we on our first session when we start. Um, the idea, of course, is if you if you die in the story, whether it's like four dice rolls, just bad luck, or you, with or without the help of chat, make a you know a poor decision on how to Drow proceed. Shares your reserve nature, Black Wolf. Indeed. It must be a common trait among wardens. You find me reserved. Yep. At times. I was aiming for aloof. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. I'm certain you'll get there. Oh. Uh. You know, if you were to die, Case, then obviously the whole thing is over. Now, maybe for the first book, it's not the end of the world. Because you or somebody else could start over again. But if you or somebody else gets, like... A couple of books in then it's like oh well the whole thing's over now it's just before we started so that would be tragic really wouldn't it i feel but um but you you know i feel that twenty thousand points is like a, a, a significant investment if you or anybody else would want to redeem that if it was if it became necessary to do so because for any less than that then you get to the point where it's like you know you can't be it's, it's almost like you've got to have that threat of demise there, or you, then you just like playing the game on God mode, aren't you? And then it, then you get to the point where there's no point in playing the game. You see what I'm saying? You've got to have that risk. Well, I, you know, so I felt that was a, a, a reasonable balance, personally. Um, let me, uh, I think, yeah, rather than heading back in there, we'll uh, just keep heading around the edge here for now. Um, Oh, you know, and that was on the that was on the uh, the short end of it. I almost went twenty five k page. We should, uh, the hope is, we, you know, we don't we don't need it anyway. Um, seven times. Well, there you go. You've got. You, I think you've got more points than anybody. Cage. God damn it. That's impressive, bro. Um, I appreciate it. There you go. Because, like, you know, these ki these crazy kids, they're like, oh, yeah, I don't care if Cage dies or needs to re-roll a dice. <laughs> uh, they're, they're all about they flexing those over 9,000s, aren't they? They're all about the flex leaderboard, so, you know, don't expect any help, <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but it's up to you. I'll, you know, I would feel um, very necessary. It's, um, it's perfectly possible to get through each book or the, even the whole series without dying. But for, you know, getting very unlucky on certain dice rolls or just kind of making poor decisions at certain junctures can also um, can also happen. Uh, have we got anything to turn in at the minute? Nothing I want to. Uh, but I have to wait and see. I just wanted, uh, the, you know, a little bit of a, like a get out clause, just to keep the, the thing going. But you know, like I said, we couldn't have it as a freebie because that destroys the uh, the intent of you know. It makes it, it gets to the point where it makes it pointless even doing the thing in the first place. All right, I don't know what's down here, but oh, we've got a landmark by the looks of it. Hidden stairway. Stairway to nowhere. I don't think we want to be down there, do we? How weird. Oh, there's treasure at least. Ah, mosaic piece. Got ya. There we go. I thought it would be strange if there's nothing down here. Okay, you've really got 140,000, uh, over 140,000 channel points on this channel. Well, bro, our, uh, I'm honoured and I respect that. Oh my god. And putting up with gameplay like that, jeez. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Definitely don't deserve that. <laughs> um, right, yeah, thank you. But yeah, like, if it came to it, um, 
that there was a death death occurred and there was no revival then i guess we you kind of i'm stuck with like whether it was be you or somebody else or well, we've got to start from scratch and depending on how far into it we were then that would be uh not uh not necessarily something that people would want to do uh, you know they're certainly not straight away you know what i mean i don't know or maybe they would i don't know we'd have to I have to play it by ear and just hope that you don't die, basically. So if I get those two there, maybe. No, I wasn't quite close enough for that one. That's fairly straightforward. Unless that fortress is adamant and is here, they just need to uh They've just gotta do their little scout operation first before we're allowed to get in there. Scary looking place. Oh. I'm going to have to bust in there regardless. Maybe this is not the place. Okay, so it seems to be the well of the fortress above us. Uh, and it, apparently, we can climb up here. Interesting. Ah! There it is, random gas! Back up a second, I think. Get to grips with what we've got here. Is this the main gate? Doesn't matter, I can't go through it anyway. good battle mage cowl mm, not quite as good as what we've got already just shame uh, wow 
Lambda to nowhere. Ah. Okay, let's hit that. I don't even know what they do. I think it's just like a random collectible. I guess you look a tiny amount of XP and a tiny amount of influence. It's about it's related to the fade rift, so maybe it makes them easier to close in the area, or the the demons are weaker. I don't know. It doesn't really I don't think it ever explains anything in it, anywhere regarding it. And that seems to be everything up here. Okay. Oh. Oof. Let's hit the regen potion for a minute. Awful. Hey there, buddy. It's better Tory soldiers and not Make it take you. even close to it an issue. We serve Inquisitor in life and in death. Oh, good for you. Serve by dying. <laughs> I like how they run around the fire room he's put on the floor. It's like, oh, yeah, well, now we see that, buddy. Inventory's full. Of course it is. How long can they keep this up? Not long enough. Yeah, indeed. Not long enough enough at all. Pretty impressive fortress they've got, honestly. Here, Inquisitor! I am ready to serve! Alright, oh, bro. If you say so. Life is nothing! He will reign! Guess this is their boss. Watch out for yourself, Varric.
Right. I mean, fortress. the Inquisition could make use of it. Indeed. Indeed, Blackwall. We're not gonna. We're not gonna not use it. That would be crazy. Oh, okay, now we're talking. Cowl of the Overseer. Kitty's Collar. Oh. Minus 100% damage resistance. All. Guardian Spirit blocks one melee attack every 30 seconds. On dying, there is a 75% chance you will heal to half health. And you will resist a lethal strike once every 60 seconds. How very curious. So every melee attack, one melee attack every 30 seconds gets automatically blocked. Um... If you're about to hit, be hit with a hit, you know, a hit that would, aside outside of that, either a magic or that top, you know, waiting on that thirty second cooldown, that would kill you, that automatically gets that automatically procs, and triggers once every sixty seconds, and if to, after those you do in fact die, you have a seventy percent chance that you will come back with half health that's pretty incredible honestly now obviously what you're paying for by that is you have a minus 100% damage resistance to everything so I don't know it's, it's a very curious item there um, we'll pick that stuff up in a minute I'll need to junk a couple of random pieces of crap um oh yeah we'll get rid of both of these awful so yeah i don't know um well, the best thing to do with those is it's uh very interesting oh uh look at this helm though we've got another venatory helm have we jeez louise not quite as good Especially on Cassandra. Oh god, the game is uh, a little bit laggy. Okay, so... Kind of good. We'll go for it. Rocket for now. I don't want to be wearing their, their janky stuff, but... <laughs> so be it. Um... I'll give that Venatory Helm to Blackwall. I'm not sure about the amulet. Well, um. Yes, place the Inquisition flag. This fortress is now ours. <laughs> In even the cutscenes, uh, she's invisible. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Inquisitor, you're early. We've barely been set up a week. I have a patrol out at the moment. It's up a week early. Dark spawn in the area. I have reports that bandits have taken up squatting in the fortress the wardens abandoned. We're reasonably well entrenched here, but the key water supply has been problematic. It's causing delays. I'll prepare the troops for inspection at once. Um, okay. Who are you? We haven't met, have we? What's your name, soldier? Where have you served? 
Yo, Ben! How you doing, Ben? It's going well, buddy. Commander Cullen offered me a job, and I was glad to do anything to help stop all this madness. Right, okay, cool. That's good. Uh, no need to ask him about any of this stuff, I don't feel. Uh, tell me about the water supply. What's wrong with the water supply? The fort's well is full of garbage. Blasted Venatori threw corpses in there. Oh, jeez. There's an oasis nearby, but a Vargas claimed it. Doing a decent job of keeping us away, too. Four soldiers have already fallen to venom and claws. Oh, jeez. We'll need reinforcements to drive the monster out. Yeah, we could do that. Um, what's about the Darkspawn, buddy? What can you tell me about the Darkspawn in the area? The Darkspawn seem to have emerged since we took the keep. Hmm. I've warned the troops not to engage unless absolutely necessary. We don't need a blight in the ranks. We have to find whatever hole the monsters came from and seal it. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, what about the bandits? Report. What's the situation in the Warden's Fortress? Bandits moved in. Worse than Quillbacks, if you ask me. Well, yeah, obviously. There, and using it as a base to strike at our supply caravans. Blasted scavengers. And general status report, report if, if there's anything the else to add. In the Western approach? I've had scouts investigate that Red Lyrium operation you smashed. I don't think anyone's getting into that cave anytime soon. That's all. Carry on, Captain. Okay. Yes, Inquisitor. Five power, eh? Nice. They've got a whole set of paper, haven't they? They're starting to feel the effects of our attacks. We're making progress. Seemingly. Okay. Um, now, is there an Asterium up there? There are. There is. Cool. Do not smirk at me, recruit. I will stick my feet so far in your ass that you'll be picking bootstraps out of your teeth. No. Now, is there a store here, though? That's the question. I don't know if there is. No, it's Why not. I have gotten posted to the storm coast? Because you can't swim and looking at waves makes you vomit. No. Inquisitor. Yeah, I might want to um, take a short trip back to Skyhold, maybe. All right, let's have a look at this. Hmm, let me see. Okay, this one looks a little more... Let's say complicated. Oh, no, I can do this, this should be fine. Uh, this one go on. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I got a trick one there, haven't we? I'll see that. Um, oh, no, actually, will that. I'm not sure if that will actually work. Yeah, restart. Um, Hmm. It's fairly simple, so it's fairly straightforward, but uh this, this star here, there's like a crazy amount coming off of it. Um Yeah, what's 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 he is he got a point here? What's is he just 
being like, hey, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, And Ben's like, yeah. And he's like, no, that, no, that was it. Do you, you know? Did you forget? You've forgotten? <laughs> so, come on, Cage. They keep us in suspense. Um. All right, yeah, so we're going to have to finish up around here. I'm not sure the... Uh, so I'm pondering this. Best way to do this, guys. Bear with. Um... Okay, let's really start there. Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Perfect. Oh, so look where we're at. Um, okay, I think we will... Uh, travel back to Skyhold briefly. Sell some stuff. We've got far too much junk we're carrying around. Um... Restore some stuff as well. Um, there's definitely questions pertaining to all these things. What for the quiz tomorrow? Who's yeah? What time is the quiz? And who is are the guest cage? Can I ask? I don't know if I'll be around because obviously it'll be late for me. But um, I'm uh, I'm curious who's going to be there. I'm, I expect it to be a lot of fun. Anyway. Maybe I could just catch a few minutes of it. Yeah, so I might be able to catch the first hour. We'll see. We'll see if I'm around. No, I don't love you. I don't love you too much, Cage. It's too emotional for me. What are you talking about? Oh, upgrade. Hell yeah. Ah, here we go. Ah, this is just cosmetic upgrades. Infirmary. Caring and support. Declares Inquisition's promise to be both welcoming and protective for all who seek its support. Skill and dedication. Sparring ring. Cosmetic declares Inquisition's investment in the recruitment and training of its soldiers. So that all who wish to fight are put to their best use. I mean, it's just cosmetic, isn't it? Let's go to the sparring ring. This choice is irreversible. Ah, there you go. It's just there, is it? That's cool. It doesn't even look that impressive, though. Maybe she's gone for the infirmary. <laughs> Never mind. Um... I was expecting something a bit more impressive than that, but... Hey ho. Alright, let's check on um, the war table. I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Baron. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Thank oh, you. It's been great. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks. Plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know yep. how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? <laughs> Still, I, I think I... Uh, I need to finish this out. And if it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. Yep. You can't always control how. Very wise, aren't you, Hawk? I tracked the wardens to Adamant Fortress, Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would you kind of him?
Uh, yeah, you should. You should. Ben, definitely. Where do we go? Bit of coin. There's a little accessory as well. Sorry, there's something new over there. Ah, restore the port on the Storm Coast, eh? Okay, interesting. Oh, random schematic. I mean, not entirely random. Oh, some random lazarite. Okay. Source of water for the outpost, indeed. Ah, here lies the abyss. Ah, that's to uh, plan the attack, I assume. Yeah, I'm adamant fortress, yeah. Okay, cool. There's loads of random stuff over here. All right. Um, measure the veil strength. Okay, let's have a look at this. Got 15 hours. Okay. To work. Picking up tomorrow, obviously. Um, what's this one? Josephine, 10 minutes, okay. <laughs> oh, what's that? Ah. Hard in high town. Unsavory, par unsavory parallels. 40 minutes, okay. Let's see what we have. Right, okay, that's what we're doing for the minute. But, um... I assume it doesn't lock us in. Well, it might do, to be fair. So we'll come. We'll leave that for now. It might not. It might just unlock it uh, as an area. We shall see. Um, I'm going to uh, so. Random junk. I don't want to pass judgment on at the moment. I don't want to about forty five minutes. Let's try and tidy up the um as much of the uh As much of the Western approach as we can. I know what I'm trying to say. I swear I do. <laughs> I think everything else we just want to get rid of. It's all j junky jank. Um, yeah. Doing all right for uh for money again. Materials are looking all right. Guess I should um go and check on our uh, our garden, our profits laurel. <laughs> cake. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like cake. I mean, like, re like, really, who doesn't? I don't know. Some crazy people, I guess. Inquisitor. Ah, no, still growing. I, f I figured they would take a bit longer. Uh, what's this? We've got a little marker over. What's that for? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, that's the war room, of course. Yeah. Genius. Right, okay. Here we go. Back to the western approach. Let me just... What's going on? Uh, 
right yeah so we still want black hole with us because it's one last uh um gray warden thing to find but it looks like we don't necessarily need uh varic because there's no more red delirium there okay so we're gonna go back to this camp and start trying to head through the central section trying to tidy up all those markers there right so cassandra blackwall sarah nothing wrong with banana bread banana is not one of the best flavors i hear that i don't know if it's in canada as well tubes uh like a banana cream pie is a like a a, a thing in the united states like you know because obviously they do pie it's very different to what pie is over in the uk um yeah cr cream with banana sounds like such a um like a yummy flavor i love the flavor of banana some people are like yeah, yeah i'm not really into that i um i think it's bloody excellent yeah is it tuba <coughs> yeah i could go for some what about now uh <laughs> but yeah pie's like a bit a big thing over there like a confectionery isn't it it's like a dessert and i like the idea of any of like you know you click your, your standard like fruit pie a cherry pie or apple pie oh my god apple oh my god yes please um but like more like kind of the, the kind of cream based or like extra like sugar like a, you know whatever i don't know whatever else there might be honestly i'm just i'm just trying to imagine i think i'm walking the see i'm thinking about pie i'm walking the wrong freaking direction uh <laughs> uh but you know any kind of cream or ch chocolate based pie mm. sounds good sounds real good is it good sea star i've never had it oh my god i want to have it I'm... give it to me stuff it in my face uh <laughs> yeah it's not really a thing over here so you suppose pie if you say pie to um someone a british person they assume we mean like savory pie we have like like meat uh and like vegetable like a based pies you know we have dessert and we have cheesecake but like a a, a uh, sweet dessert pie isn't a thing i don't i don't really know why because we uh you know they would they would sell got to be something here they, they would definitely sell so i don't know why it would be too much of an issue, you know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. Dragon. I eat that. Why? Your expert was a nutter. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> um, she's so weird. She's like, oh, dragons eat that. Oh my God, why would a dragon eat that? Like, because it's a fucking dragon, Sarah. It's not. It's not like a person. You can't like reason with it. It's <laughs> why does it eat that? <laughs> She's so weird. Um, oh my freaking god, Sea Star! That sounds amazing. That's literally all they sold. You can buy a pie, a slice of pie, what you know, an amount of pie. Off you go. Okay, they're not even set up camp here. They're set up camp, camp there. Just some random bandits. Two, two, three guys. Two guys. So, just to confirm, that bro at the fortress saying, oh, we've got a problem with bandits. It was two two people, two guys, two bandits, and they couldn't deal with that. My God. 
Who, who are these Inquisition folks we've been employing? Do you know what I'm saying? Sea Star, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I want it. <laughs> oh my god. So there must have been some sort of. Do you have to like? Do you have to like pre-order them? Because if they're like um, you know, if they're like a private uh, one-off business, and all they do is pie, I assume they're going to be like freshly made pies. So what? And I'm sure they have like a decent variety of pie. So my question would be like, what would they like have a lot of leftover pie? Do they just choose randomly which ones they're making in a given day? Either way, they've got decent portion sizes. One one sixth is a decent amount. Yeah, I feel I feel like if you're going for an eighth, then I'm like not necessarily taking you seriously. But you know, your pie portions, but of course I would be the the, the psycho who's buying the whole pie, but that's just that's just me. Wasn't close enough. Never mind. Right, well, here we go. We've got some uh, random bandits. Random doggo. And even a quill back. Only open from two to nine. That's literally my stream hours. I could have, I could have worked there well. Um, and sell out every day. Yeah, yeah. So they obviously had, they knew, um, they obviously had like a good gist of uh, how well, um, you know, what their sales were likely to be in a day. So they would make that amount and maybe like a little bit more uh, or maybe a bit less. So, you know, because, you know, if you're like going in like half eight in the evening, yeah, you got a pie left. And they're like, no, we're sold out. They're like, oh, you know, it builds that that uh, excitement, that desire, doesn't it? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if there are any leftovers, they're like, not going to sell it the next day. They're like, this is ours. Oh, my God. I would... Like, if I, if I lived in that town, Sea Star, I'm like, yo... Can I have a job here? And they were like, maybe, maybe, uh, Mr. Isnib, but we need, uh, d like, the demand for people who wanted to work here is quite high. So we're having, like, a, a kind of, like, a deathmatch tournament. Uh, you have to fight some dudes. The other people are trying to get the job to the death. Are you sure you want to work? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I assumed I'd have to fight someone to the death to work here anyway. So no worries, let's go on with it. <laughs> Obviously I'm exaggerating, but also Yeah no. What I'm saying. Um I would I would soon get very fat though, honestly. <laughs> if we're honest about it. Cause I'd be like even if like there was no leftovers in the day, I'd be tempted to just like buy one anyway. I'd be like, oh just cause <laughs> Well, or maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'd like train myself to own, not 
not buy any and only wait for the leftovers but there were leftovers and i so imagine if there's leftovers every day even if there's like a couple of slices on there i'm not gonna just not take it i'm not gonna let it go to waste you know what i mean and then i've got it i'm gonna eat it aren't i and then if and then you could end up in a situation where you're eating some amount of pie every single day and then you're like <laughs> um turn into a fat bastard uh you know which nothing necessarily wrong with that um it's not something that i want for me you know but uh come on kids yeah yeah so um one thing i will say is having the invis ring it kind of um it does make things a little bit awkward or can do at least like just uh getting your party to follow you moving around places and such um well, let's hit both of those there possibly no, I only got one. Never mind. Oh. I would love it so much. That's like retail I could actually get into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the difference between uh, something that's um, ma made fresh that day by like, oh, extra level of influence, very nice, by like real people rather than it's just made in a, on a factory line. Do you know what I mean? Even if it's fresh, freshly made on a factory line, it's um, it's not, it's not quite the same, is it? Let me scrub this shard. Right, I'll clean this mess. Oh, is it? Oh, it's actually below us. Silly me. There we go. Yes, Sarah. Dragons like to eat animals. I know it's shocking to you. Right, how do I uh, get down here in this valley? Or slide down, do I? It's a little dangerous. As we take the walkway down over there. Hmm. Come back to it. On, uh, let's head in this direction. There's a camp just up here. There's something up here. Mountaineer my way up here. I think I do actually. Go on, get out there. No, that's fine, Sea Star. It's fine. We only got half hour. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Probably soup. I do, yeah. Uh, <laughs> soup's uh, quite easy. There you go, a random bottle. Okay. And more, more gigantic wheels of cheese. And a load of sausage. My God, yeah. I'll, I want these sausages. That's what I want. Uh, I might be asking too much, though. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not really sh I'm not sure. 
Nothing like too exciting. I'm just excited to eat anything, honestly. <laughs> That's what it says about me. Okay, we already uh, we already found this camp. Very well. Fair enough. Very well. Um, oh no, Sarah, don't die. Let's do a little west. Okay, I think I'm going to... We already got that asterium, didn't we? Okay, I think I'm just going to turn north from here. We'll come back to that little uh, valley in the centre of the map in a bit. Or tomorrow, as the case may be. Wow, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about the black smoke coming out of our fort. <laughs> Alright, so these are the dark spawn. Not all of them, presumably. Let's uh, let just grab this. Right, okay. We'll turn to Frederick uh, with hunting locations. Okay. Enchant a great sword. Right, yeah, but knight enchanters are uh, mages, not warriors. A bit of an oversight. Where did they come from? We need to find out. Indeed. Um, right, directly east, looking for Phoenix Tail, but I feel that's uh, that's just to find a random Phoenix. That's just kind of where they hang out, I guess. I guess that's the idea. So rather than head over there right now, we might um, we might just bump into one. Not to mention, uh, we may just we've got to head back to the. Uh, that's where the, like, I guess that's the other end of the the valley to go down anyway. Black smoke looks all sorts of janky. Ah, I'm a corporation. We have to turn back. Someone at Skyhold will have a solution. Okay, too sulfury. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I feel, you know what, uh, C Star, I feel like soup of whatever kind of like type or quality or whatever. I feel it's like super underrated. Some people don't eat soup. They're like, that's soup, that's, that's like boring. That's something you eat when you're ill. And it's like, no, I think, uh, I think it's something you could eat every single day, honestly. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I don't think so. Um. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you've got different locations for finding the the phoenix tail feather. So I guess they're just kind of scattered around all over the place. Let's uh keep looking around here for the dark spawn question mark. Okay. Another. Yeah. And there could be another phoenix tail feather up this way. Yeah. These are the phoenixes, aren't they? So let's, uh, let's have a go. There we go. All right, the thing, that's the, all the ingredients for the law. Not that we, uh, really want to be, uh, Fighting the dragon at the minute. Die! So aggressive. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I guess I have to wait for this for a bit. Okay, and this is another operation. We can't cross this. The dog spawn got through. <coughs> I'll have to see what our people at Skyhold can do. <coughs> okay, I can't get that either. Right, okay, cool. So, um... So all of that is kind of cut off. Um... For better or worse. Interesting. Um... Okay, I will, uh, I'm going to do then. Oh, what's that? Oh, I have to turn the things in to Frederick. Um, oh, we can't even fast travel a minute. Never mind. Okay, let's, uh, let's just head over this way, I guess. Blank wall's on fire. What's he on fire? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, can, I can just eat anything any time of year. Uh, sea star, but yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, okay. Let's uh, stake our claim first. Ah. Mother of all locks. We're not getting in here. Indeed. Right, okay, and that's there. Um, I guess we'll Maybe if we can stick to the edge here, I wonder if... No, it looks like we'll, uh... Yeah, that's, uh... The bit we can't breathe. Okay. Right, I'm going to jump back to the original camp at the start of the zone and head in the other direction. And see what we can see that way before we head down into that central valley. But it looks like we've, uh... Got stuff we need to, um... Operations we need to do to clear out on the way around that sulfur, basically. Right, how do we get up there? I 
Not this way. We'll come back there in a second. Just want to get that. Um, it's logging stand, isn't it? Okay, round this way. Back where we were. Alright, got about 15 minutes. Just pushing this di direction for a sec. Ha! Ah, hello. Okay, that's not anything interesting. One. Two. Hmm. Now, usually they're in the distance, but obviously it's a uh, exception to every rule, isn't there? Which means like right next to you. Uh, a bit silly. Ah, uh huh, okay. Well, how do we get up here then? We have to go around from the other side. Never tell with these uh, the the jump puzzles in this game. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of them. I can't see another way around there unless we get up on this little ledge here. Ah, here we go. Aha. Nice. Got a rift. Not really struggled with any of them so far, so. Maybe those two. Yes, nice. Cool. 
Yeah, I like this area. I like the um, western approach. Okay, we've got a... Another one here. Okay, cool. Let's uh, keep going north. Goodbye. Right, another one of these gates. Now, is this one locked also? No good. We'll have to mm, find another way. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so gate there and a gate there. Both locked. So maybe we either have to find a way through here. Or find a way around that way once we've dealt somehow dealt with the sulfur. But either way, it doesn't look like we're um getting through at the moment. Okay, let's head back this way then. And so the final shard, presumably, is just up here. The fi not final for the area, the final of those three that we uh, spotted, obviously. Cool. Oh, spider. Ugh. You see how it just ran out of nowhere? Awful creature. Not a, not a massive spider fan. I will uh I'll be honest. Right, and that's the other side of Forgotten Mine there. So if we head through here, let's see if we can angle to the north. Ah, this looks more promising, doesn't it? Right, it's actually got some greenery around here. Very nice. You see Cassandra just completely uh, avoid those uh, ice mines there. Uh, impressive. Let's see what the Venatori are after. Right, so I wanna assume Ah, the still ruins. I would have guess we head into this inside area and then it'll take us out the other side. Well maybe not, I don't know, but Right, yeah. Different zone. Okay, well, I won't go through there just yet. Cool.
crazy. Knight Enchanter Greatsword. Knight Enchanter is what we are, is what Vivian is. Is a mage subtype. Yeah, it's only for warriors. Can you say it? <laughs> I understand if it, you know, the specialization was a warrior specialization. But, um. Yeah, it's not, is it? It's a problem. Okay, so in the last five minutes, we're going to just angle down here and see if we can get into the valley from this side and see if we can uh, just tidy up those little bits there. I feel like for the, the standard enemies in this area, we're a little bit over-leveled now. Okay, so this is the other end of the valley here. Um, head that way. So we think the landmarks look right up on the other side there. So it's actually up there. I have to get up there. Um, not easily by the looks of it. It's actually below this area. I don't know. I should just slide on down. Let's go for it. Ah! Oof. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe let's not do that then. <laughs> For some reason, I just looked at that water there and was like, yeah, that's not too deep. That's fine. We can uh, <laughs> we can just walk through that. No. No. <laughs> okay, right. Let's, uh... <laughs> it seems like the, the landmark should be up on top there, but maybe it's um, underneath down in the valley. Cool, another, yeah, another login stand. I think we've got more than we need of these. I, I hope something like kind of pops up later. Oh, that guy's on our side, is he? Yeah, see if you got your barrier on, you just attack constantly. Right, okay, and that's down into the valley again. Okay. That's right, well, sorry, where the water is, rather. Ah, but another little cave here. There we go, got our blood lotus now. 
Aha, here we go. Yes, it was underground. Excellent. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Imagine saying that to a spider. Actually, after it's already dead. I guess maybe some people would uh, <laughs> feel that strongly about spiders. They might say that. Goodbye. Uh, okay, seems to be everything there. Right. Shard back out the other side of the cave. Okay. Just looks like it's just above the entrance, maybe. We can just grab that. Yeah, it's directly above us now. I can hear it. Making its little noise. Sounds like a nern root. Okay, so how do we get up on the... here? Okay, this way, presumably. Okay, so you got a locked door there and a locked door there into this. We've got weird sulfur we cannot get through up here. Um, and potentially we've got a dragon to fight at some point. <coughs> um, that's basically it. Uh, and of course the um the steel ruins, which we are first point of call tomorrow. I'm just going to quickly head over to um, Frederick and give him the dragon lore materials. I'm like, here you go, buddy. I assume it's not going to force us into fighting the dragon there and then, is it? Um, Nothing to report, sir. After more than 30 days, I have yet to observe the abyssal high dragon in... Oh, yes? Can I assist you? Here we go. Uh... I found the dragon signs. I've spotted several dragon signs around the approach. Most excellent, my friend. I don't suppose you noted the wound pattern. <laughs> no matter, I'll look into that later. Andrast is mercy. From what I can tell, the dragon has been moving east and will be scouring the wastes next. Naturally, the dragon's hunting ground is full of miscreants. White claw raiders. They've covered the area in traps for maker only knows reasons quite a mess okay fair enough uh, i've got the ingredients for the law one tail feather and one batch of intestines as requested my friend you are invaluable i will certainly note your assistance in my monograph on the high dragon okay i will attempt Excellent. to lure her out as soon as my background research is complete <laughs> mistakes could be deadly Indeed. The ancient Tevinters wrote volumes on the study of dragons. I believe they had a laboratory in this desert. Oh, if only their work had not been lost. Truly, the Blights set the field of draconology back centuries. Deplorable. Very well. 
We'll have to speak some other time. Okay. Aha, destroy some traps. I'm gonna catch a giant dragon in Okay. What if that's the spot you fight it? Trap was destroyed down there. Okay. Um Ah Been the right on dragon luring, okay. And heading to their black wall. Okay. Um we shall uh briefly return to Skyhold. I know Josephine has come back. I'll be able to set her on uh, clearing out, doing whatever to clear out the sulfur, make that uh, accessible, and we'll come back to the. Uh, we won't come back tomorrow. It's the weekend tomorrow. It's Saturday. It's my. I better get a decent workout in day. Um, I've got Cage's game show much later in the day, um, and. Uh, We've, uh, yeah, it's my workout day, um, not streaming day, I've got to make a good one out of it, Sunday, we'll see what happens, probably got some stuff I need to take care of, I don't know, we'll see, either way, I'm going to be back on Monday, and we'll, go ahead. It's, um, it's definitely the lengthiest of the, uh, Dragon Age games, although I think we had, like, 16 17 streams on origin so i think this is stream number nine we're on of uh inquisition so far so you know not like not over overly uh lengthy you know i'm not at a point of wanting to like uh press it home so to speak but yeah i feel like we're making good fairly good progress so yeah, we need to tidy up the western approach. Then we've still got the hissing wastes and the emerald graves. Uh, and then we can, after we've tidied up those, so to speak, then we can kind of, um, you know, press the main quest. Uh, so I think I'm going to go True Grit with our next perk. 10% defense from all party members from everything. Hard to go wrong with that. Uh, so we're going to add up. Right, there we go. So, uh... Ah, an amulet of power for someone. Nice. A, bit, a little bit of influence. Right, yeah, that's uh, so we're 15 hours on that, so we'll worry about that one there tomorrow. Anything else around here? Right, let's see what's in over an all lay. Right, yeah, judgment, help the people of Sarnia. Okay, it could be either of our two there, doesn't really matter. All that glitters. Okay, that requires Cullen, apparently. Improve morale. Gather metal. Ah, crossing the sulfur pits. Five power. And so he doesn't make... Uh, our soldiers will see to construction. Or uh, have a word and get it made for us. We'll do it ourselves. Keep it in-house where all possible, I, I reckon. New area unlocked. Not now. Ah, find the source of Darkspawn. Five power. Let's see. Cullen's guys. Not now. Ah, there you go. Secure a source of water for the outpost. Send Lel. And I guess we'll uh, get Josephine on this one. I might be able to turn those on over before I finish up today. Uh, so what else is actually around? Ah, choose a successor in Leeds. Okay, we're starting to do that. All that glitters. Improve morale. And that seems to be everything, apart from, like, the repeatable ones. 
but uh, we shall see. Let me leave that there. It got over a little bit. That's fine. Let's just do a save. Making good progress. Uh, it feels like we're further along in terms of level, though. I can't remember what like your final level is. I can't remember it'd be more like t level twenty-five. I'm already like nineteen, but unless like the bulk of the game is kind of like just doing what we've been doing is kind of taming and exploring all of those areas and doing all those side quests and little things and getting shards and doing doing this and doing that. Um, and after we've caught up, we're gonna like do the main quest, go to all A, and then it's gonna be like, ah. You, you saved the Empress. Now, go murder Corypheus. And that's just... <laughs> like, if you just ignored all of this and you were playing on easy, you could just, like, complete the game in, like, five hours. I don't know. It seems... It seems unlikely, but I don't know. I can't really remember. And that's, that's, that in itself is kind of exciting, I feel. Like, I don't know exactly what's coming up. But anyway. Let me say this. Get my bloody wire out of the way. It's been an excellent week on the Isnim show. Thanks to you guys for being here and sharing it with me. I've, uh, we had, you know, a bit of a technical issue on not only Tuesday, but also yesterday. But we managed to get around it. You know, we still got decent streams in. Um, grab this over. Uh, that's what matters. And we've made some chonky, chonky progress in Dragon Age Inquisition. And we had a nice time, like, hanging out and chatting. That's cool as well. Um, obviously, that's, that's the best bit. No, thank you, Sea Star. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, so, uh, I will be off this weekend. No streams. But I will be around. If anyone needs to message me on Discord, just message me. I'll, I'll be there as best as I can. Um... Like I say, I feel like there's something... Of course, yeah, of course. On Sunday, I will be... Actually, I will be streaming. I just won't be able to stream on this channel. Um, Scotty... I can't remember the time. It'll, it'll probably promo it, and I'll check. I'll, I'll let people know. Um, that is the question. I don't know if it's uh, fully confirmed what the question is, but this is Scotty EBC 2021's talk show. Do give him a follow if you are not uh, following. Um... I I will probably be there as a contributor, offering my silly opinions on things I don't know anything about. But um, I do plan to be there. I have to check the time. And it's earlier in the day to, you know, bless Scotty. I don't know if it's entirely to accommodate me, but no, no, it allows me to attend as and when I can. Um, looking forward to that. Um, yeah, look at, look at Cage. Don't, don't uh. Don't, don't say... He's looking in the mirror saying that to himself. Don't say that to yourself, Cage. You, you're better than that. <laughs> uh, will do. Yeah, I'll need to just get food and then... I don't know. Be around. But yeah, but if anyone needs to get a hold of me, you can just message me on Discord anytime. Uh, so special thank yous. A couple of thank yous here. Thank you to... Uh, there you go. Back it up. Uh, disastrous for the sub. That's appreciated. Uh, Steph Babies, 20 months, resub. Uh, Professor Sean, 22 months, resub. My God. Yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, 7 o'clock my time. I need to... Right. That's it. Was, it, was it not 3 last time? I don't know, Cage. We'll check it out anyway. Uh, are you going to be there? You're probably busy anyway. I don't know, Cage. Uh, thank you to uh, Comptimus Crime for fight the five biddies. Uh, it all adds up. Thank you, Cop. Uh, thank you very much to Sean888 for the following. Uh, and thank you very much to Leadopus for the resub for four months. And Legion Cage for 10 biddies. <laughs> He's like, I can, I can double you, Cop. There you go. Bang. Done it. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Cage. Uh, I think that's covered everything. Uh, but it's been, overall, it's been a good week, and I'm looking forward to next week. Um... um Hey, oh, cool. I've got a uh, gift sub to uh, Freaking uh. King Slice. Oh! And Ryan. Rah. He's like chopping you up, Cage. He's like. 
slicing you up. Thank you, Ryan. Bless you. 100, 100 bitties from Ryan. Bless you, Ryan. You've you done enough for me, young man. But, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I don't... I don't tell you what to do. You do whatever you want to do. And I'm... Uh, I was very satisfied. Uh, excellent. Cool, cool. I look forward to it. I'm going to look forward to it, Cage. Um... But yeah, good luck at work. Uh, yeah, so let me find some who's around for us to do a little raid on. Just wait for that to load up or not. Let's go to movie. I'm going to pause it. Let's see who's around. All right, there's, uh, there's Walshy. There's Uncle Buck. There's Lily. Tina, Gabby, uh, slight. We read the slight yesterday. There's Lee. We read Lee on Monday. Uh, that's Figgy. Uh, she was in a bloody subathon. Trying going up to a 48 hour stream. Don't do that to yourself, Figgy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, no need you guys to hang around. Oh my god, I'm tired. Um... Decisions. Okay, let's go raid Figgy, I guess. Fig Nut Pepper. She's uh she's playing some full guys. That's cool. Uh but uh yeah, as I've just been gifted a sub for her. She's uh she's a gem. Um there we go, right yeah, Ryan's a fan. Yeah, there we go, that's decided it then. Uh There we go, perfect. Um yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I've got on a little list. I don't mind raiding the same people like once a week. I just want I just make sure uh, <laughs> uh I don't want to raid the same person like more than once a week. Like Slight, Slight usually gets at least a raid a week from me. Which doesn't need to be that often, but you know, you've also got to support your uh, homies and all that. But, um guys, thank you so much for being here. It's been a fabulous week. Please do not hesitate to message me. Yeah, you know, when you want to say hello, or you need, you know, you need me to, uh, you know, fit, you know, solve the problems of the entire universe. I'll, I'll try and do that. Uh, time to get food. Anyway, let's go on the raid. Thank you all so much. I'll see you soon.